The red carpet was out for day one of the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am as it brought out some of the biggest names across the poker and entertainment worlds. They were joined by Run Good Poker Series qualifiers from across the country, all earning their spot at the Poker Go studio, all with a shot to win the All-Stars Pro-Am trophy. We kick things off with Boston Rob on the mic. I'm in the field, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Dealers, let's shuffle up and deal. Cards in the air and our qualifiers with a chance to sit down at the best place in the world to play poker. Survivor legend Tyson Apostle taking on defending champion Rami Singh. Quite the run for Rami, but he couldn't quite make day two. Approaching the holiday season, Santa gave away some chips for Christmas. Our qualifiers were surrounded by media insiders like Chad Holloway from Poker News, poker superstars in the mix as well. How about WSOP bracelet winners David Williams and Josh Aria in the mix. Aria with an absolute pile that he absolutely hunted off. Later in the day, we were down to just two tables. Shantanu Gar gets the chips in. Boston Rob thinking, making the call with the ace four up against Garg's King Jack with a spot in the final table on the line. Will Rob's hand hold up? The answer is yes. And that sets the scene for the Poker Go ambassador to bag and tag. I told you I'm coming for number two. Look at the good news is Mr. Aria, player of the year at WSOP, he's not here anymore. But I'm gonna have him on the reel tomorrow swear. Not for me, but against me. I can promise you that. Nine players left fighting for the cash, the trophy, the title. The run good All-Stars Pro-Am starts right now. And with that, we welcome you to Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. Coming to you from the Poker Go studio at Aria Resort and Casino, where qualifiers and invitees collide at the final table. Welcome in, everybody. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, it is a Poker Go ambassador making a run at this one. Boston Rob right there wearing a Boston Bruins mm. hockey jersey, of course, Jeff. I like it. Boston Rob in the mix alongside one of our favorites. Brent, how do you not love Denise Pratt? Oh, Denise Pratt. She's out here for the title, has worked very hard on her game. Yes, sir. Put on a show. She absolutely loves the game from the great state of Mississippi. And there is one, Dakota Odell. He is our chip leader. He won the Run Good Main at Council Bluffs to earn his ticket here. And he won a World Series of Poker Circuit ring this year as well. Taking a look at the leaderboard, it is Odell on top. Boston Rob and Denise round out our top three. Kulwant Singh, Jean Ortega, Vladimir, Ashley, Tim, and Forrest, the rest of our final table. To kick things off, let's send it down to the floor. And one Tyson Apostle. All right, welcome back to day two of the Run Good Poker Series All-Stars Pro-Am presented by Poker Go, and we are here with our final table. I hope all of the players are ready and have brought their A game. I know Boston Rob drank a cup and a half of cream this morning instead of coffee. Uh, get those calories in for probably almost three hours of play today. Uh, everybody got their cushions, their chair pads. <laughs> and we are ready to go. So, dealer, please take those cards, mix them up, and distribute them around the table. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wish you guys all good luck, but I want to mean it. So, <laughs> still see Tyson. Look at the fluff right there. <laughs> What's your name again, dealer? There he's gone. Chris, Thank you so Chris much. one of the best yeah, dealers in the business. 10K, 15K with a 15K big blind ante. Tim Callejo in the nine seats. Stacks quite deep yeah. here at this final table. The average stack right around 47 big blinds. Boris Kolar is there. Ashley Jenkins yeah, want to seek giveaway to get here. I just feel like this is a pretty, uh, and they're pretty lighthearted, light you know. That's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
it. That's what I liked about yesterday. It was real easy, like light-hearted. It was very, yeah, very laid back, very fun. John Ortega, co-founder of Loud Gaming. I might have set three. Yeah. yeah. Ortega, an absolute oh, so superstar yeah, the in the esports world. Massive Portugal. following. Hundreds of thousands on Instagram and Loud Gaming, I think, has 11 we'll million That's right. followers. That's yeah. Showing off his yeah, game here, bad. making like Brazil that. proud. Yeah. Now lives in Las Vegas, yeah, Ortega. Yeah, gotta win the first one. Yeah, right. gotta take the fourth. Yeah. First hand down. Woohoo! That's how you're gonna go, boys and girls. Go. Yep. You can't win them all if you don't win the first. Ortega versus Boston Rob. Take a look at these payouts. Eighty-seven hundred dollars and change up top. Runner-up, smooth sixty-five hundred, all the way down to ninth place. Walking away with thirteen hundred. We did pay out ten spots. Tenth place got paid last night, and of course we had a bubble boy. That bubble boy was Brian Lamana, known as the Tortoise from the Sulphur Y community. Oh, there we go. I'm Brent. I'm back. It's good to be here. What happened? I think I just you wiggled a cord yeah, and maybe. you, you I, came I back know. to life. It's good to be here, though. You did a great job with those payouts. Uh, Singh shoots it up to thirty thousand. Jeff, are you back? And yeah, you no, play no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, I was just going to let you run the show. I mean, you, I was totally fine with it. I'm not very comfortable. We say hello to everybody watching us on YouTube. Hello to Catherine, to Alice, to Craig, to Mark, to Mary, Wisco Barron. Hello. Wisco Barron has not missed a show on Poker Go on the YouTube. I, I'd say it's been about three to four years. Welcome back, Wisco Barron. This the best hand, Boston Rob. Trying to pick it up right here, right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, but Rob has really been working on his game. That's right. You see that chip leader patch? That's been working so with Chance great. and Alex <laughs> Foxen. Cosby is here, Nathan says, it's poker time. Yes, it is. I would call this poker time indeed. It's not a Super Bowl ring, despite the <laughs> hundreds of Super Bowl titles that the New England Patriots have won over the years. That is a run good poker series championship ring. Looking for number two here today. It is after 12, though. It is. So Rob won the Ambassador Bounty it's event at the Run Good Cleveland time. stop yeah. in late September. What's everybody going to do after the event? Miss Ray Bounty tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 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 Anybody got big Christmas time? No, not really. Today, I want to go see that Avatar. It's the new Avatar movie. Basic, I've heard oh, good things. Yeah. I've heard yeah. really good things. In 3D or... Uh, 3D, yeah, yeah. You an Avatar yeah, guy? You going to go see it? Like that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Excuse me? It, are you an Avatar guy? Do I have an Avatar? No, do you, do you, the movie Avatar, the sequel. Way of the Water. I didn't Way know there was a first one. Uh, this is the second one? The first one is the highest grossing movie of all time. Probably before my time. No, it wasn't. I think it was like 10 years ago. Oh, is that with the semi-naked blue people yeah, cartoons yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, screen? That's, that's right. Yeah, I, okay. So are you not going to see the sequel? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll probably wait for it to probably gonna pass. come out on Netflix mm. or, or Disney+. Plus. I don't know, Jeff. Seems a little provocative for me, you know. I'm kind of a G P G rated movie guy. Can't handle all the skin that's being shot. Yeah, and especially of like, you know, it's, it's, they're not humans, right? 
I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like know. alien nudity. Gotcha. We'll, we'll note that oh, for the future. I don't know what you're into. Uh, yeah, probably not that. I, I don't, you know, it's not high on my list of so you're a tasks to go see that movie. Is that right? That's what I heard. Oh, be very popular. I own a gaming organization. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. What games are you guys playing? So we're playing Valorant, League of Legends, Free Fire, like at the global level. So. Oh. Like big time, gotcha. big time. No Apex or anything like that? Not yet. Yeah. But I like playing Apex. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah Go on seeing with Seven's caller with the Ace Nine suited. He qualified by winning a $255 deep stack event at Thunder Valley. I finished ninth in that event. Not about me. Back to the action. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest holds the ace nine suited. Uh, did you cash with your ninth yeah, place finish? Yeah, final table. Well, yeah, but Huge I mean, not deal. all ninth place spots get paid. Happy to well, hear this you. one did, yeah. Collected a little cheese. Cool. Played great poker that day. A lot of people were telling me that. Well, I'm going to be funny here. I <laughs> hope you don't have a jack of three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't That's, hand That's our hand. <laughs> <laughs> like if jack three come, I'm not going to bet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is that not hysterical? That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you lost your opportunity to shut. You should have conceded. Yeah, you could. You could. Yeah. 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 Well, at least, well, at least called. <laughs> Yeah. It's got to be Jack Jack Foot. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. If you just I call and Jack Foot, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to call. I had a show. Would yeah. you have called? I would have called. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> oh. oh, it's 10. I'm sorry. Uh, 10, yeah. You're small blind. And I'm small blind. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mentioned Denise Pratt at the top of the show. Love yeah, every been time been she's been inside been the been studio been playing. Been her been second been appearance, been believe it or not, played on Poker favorite. After Dark a couple seasons poker, ago. Hand. I know her grandkids are at home like, watching their grand. The Whichever I, I, one wins, I don't care. I, I, put that on <laughs> I just put, I put the winning hand. I don't. Denise stopped by the ladies meetup game this morning at the win to advocate for women in poker. You know, you know, she practically owns the state of Mississippi. I just like the winning one. The winning, hand. the winning hand. Yeah, that's the answer. The winning hand. <laughs> the winning hand at the top, right? Yep. Craig in the chat seems more like an am am. Yeah, the pros. Pros got beat up yesterday. Absolutely <laughs> destroyed. Aria with a, uh, he had all the chips at one point and chip. just dusted them yeah, all off. No surprise. And I believe there was a <laughs> substantial prop bet. Between Boston oh, Rob and Josh Arie as to who would win. Is it 10 to 1? Ross? I talked to Rob before play started. I believe we'll show you that a little bit later in the day where we dive into that bet a little bit. But, yes, he has a must-win prop bet against Josh. Josh was getting 10 to 1. Rob is getting better odds. So he thinks Josh will be tuning in to anti-sweat him. Well, do we know what sort side. of money is on the we line? Do not. <laughs> do not. Are we not revealing that for tax uh, uh, issues? No, I, it will, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't, know. Yeah, I don't want the IRS to come yes, knocking. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That one can make a strike. Well, if you're going to get it in, you're going to pull a bluff. Bluff with the worst hand, right? Tim Cahill from San Diego, California. <sighs> met Tim earlier today, he said nice to meet you. And he said nice to meet you. He said good luck. He said thank you. Beautiful exchange, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you for sharing. This truly is a special event. All yeah. 32 qualifiers from across the entire country joining us here for this, which means there were 16 invites the run good and poker go Ray's side of things. 35. Here we go, Denise. Bump yeah. it up with the ace eight on the button. Cut a rug. Blue check for 5K, purples 25K a piece. What's Sink thinking about doing? In honor of Doyle Brunson, 10 do suited, is he? I watched Coolant a little bit yesterday. Not a man who likes to fold pre flop. Uh -huh. Any suited will do. Yeah. It's fun to see a flop. Including the 10 do suited, uh, slightly 
behind here. Oh, a little trap Ooh. from Denise. Okay. Love this. Will it draw something from Sing right here? The answer is yes. Fifty K bet that gets called by Denise. River is a ten. Okay. Over ten. Denise snap checks back and will show sure bases. Aren't you said it, Denise Pratt from the great state of Mississippi drags this pot. She's in third place in chips. Earlier today, before we kicked off our final table, I was able to spend a minute or so with Denise. Well, Denise, safe to say you were excited yesterday. How in the world are you feeling today? Woo! <laughs> About I'm what I expected. Excited. Yes, yeah, so excited I couldn't sleep hardly. So let's just hope I play well, a little sleep. What's this like walking into the Poker Go studio realizing that you have made a final table here that we may or may not be televising? It's like the Super Bowl, you know? If you've ever been to the Super Bowl, which I have not, but I've gotten, you know, you get all excited, you call all your friends, you try to get everybody to rally you, and it's just an amazing event to be a part of. I know you stopped by the ladies' meetup game earlier today across town. You think you can serve as a, an inspiration of sorts for, for women in poker? I hope so. It, it would be my dream to see more women play poker and uh, whatever I can do to help get them here. That's why I ran by to see Jamie. It's a big deal because women are, I guess we're afraid to play poker and we don't need to be. It's a lot of fun. You know, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. It's all about having a good time and enjoying and loving what you do. And as long as you love it, it'll eventually win. I think all women and men can follow your lead. Thanks for the time, Denise. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays right back at you, Denise <laughs> Pratt. Really? Not much you can fall with. So, uh, not a lot of issues. So excited. I was not going to call yeah. anyone. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm done. I was done after I well, tried to bluff. With your hand in the jar, right? I tried to bluff. I tried to bluff. She either. mentioned Jamie. Congratulations yeah. to Jamie Kersetter, everybody at the World Poker Tour and at the Win for putting on a phenomenal event. And that he learned his lesson. Ladies meetup game today. Stay in line. Alongside an excellent turnout at the Ladies Championship this week. There's no Jack 3, so I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought you were. <coughs> Had a chance to go over He's to the encore where the World Poker Tour is running a few times. Just stunning uh, what they have done. Oh, yeah. Exceptional event I mean, they've they created. Like regular cards. cards. Yeah, 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 totally. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Austin Rob getting frisky under the gun with the Ace Five offsuit. I don't think that PokerCoaching.com taught him to open this hand right now, Jeff. What about ChipLeader.com? That's what I meant. <laughs> Shout out PokerCoaching.com like, as even, well. Even Chance and Alex <laughs> wouldn't open here. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's serious, saying right. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 30? 30. You made me afraid. But Boston <laughs> Rob sees things. Yeah. Right? Getting a lot of folds at this table. Maybe a tighter table. Sings oh. in there with sixes on you, Forrest. I'm sorry. I thought it mentally folded so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> You were pushing them that way. Oh, yeah. Telepathic. Yeah, yeah get, get them out of here. You don't play 10 deals like that. <laughs> How about Ashley getting in there with the Jack 10 offsuit, sizing a little small? Uncertain if this was intentional. Oh. I think. Maybe she was intending just to call here, Jeff. Ashley had chips in from the small blind and <laughs> gets through Rob's powerful open. <laughs> Sing not going anywhere with the sixes. Comes King 9-9. Nine, nine. Got shot for Ashley. This looks like it's going to work out perfectly for Ashley Jenkins, our raffle giveaway qualifier. Call. That's call. 40K. Singh makes the call. Oh, Singh is sticky. Yeah. Five on the turn. 260K in the pot. 
As you see on the left side of Ashley's name, she's 420k behind. Singh's gonna fire here with the sixes. Ten thousand. And that'll you do the trick. <laughs> Just turned it four. I have He final table this <laughs> loot to Warriors <laughs> event at the series. I didn't realize there is. I'm gonna pop. And Brett, right, to your point, actually, if you're calling the flop, I'm sure you're. Rob was open by under the gun, and uh, he's just leader, you know. I'm surprised Rob's older. <laughs> 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 Trophy awaits our winner. Mm. Twenty to call. You call, call, call me. Mm -hmm. He get his flesh together. Craig says, "Let's be real. The biggest reason there aren't more women in poker is us men. Too many awkward weirdos make it a difficult space. Call them out when you see it. The more people in poker, the better. All right, all right. I like it." Yeah, really hard to disagree there. Yeah. With uh, Craig. No question about Shout it. Shout out to everybody on YouTube, on Twitch, joining us. Oh, oh, we're in the chat. Minutes. We're in the Twitch yeah, streets. I don't know. Probably yeah, made that up. <laughs> that actually <laughs> felt like it went by really fast. Yeah, it's when, when fast. It, when like, oh, level up. I was like, Wait, how long did it go by already? Two. Yeah, one level. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We did it. 10 20 now. Yeah. <laughs> Vladimir limps in with the king queen, up about 25 bigs. The lights do make it seem like the hands. Rob bumped so it up like to 80k, yeah, yeah. and Vladimir with the limp jam. And Rob makes the call with the ace nine, and here we go. More than a milli in the middle. Vladimir Gretchnikov, the one all in and at risk. Gretchnikov, the winner <laughs> of the Coconut Creek run good main. Jack Jack Deuce here. Ten for the slot? Ten on the turn? Ten for the slot. Ten? Oh, you're ace. <laughs> 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 At least he's honest. <laughs> Followed by a ten. There the turn is honest. an ace. Not might not want over you know yet. Yeah. It has to come. Vladimir looking for a 10. A <laughs> only a 10 to stay alive. And why do you usually come on the river? River card is a five. That does it for Vladimir. All right, great game. Vlad. Thank you. Class Act had a chance to catch up with him earlier. Enjoyed talking with him. Put up some solid results this year. See him again. Nice Tournament streets. Blind versus blind. Cooler of sorts when you get the king queen in there with the ace nine. I'll take those two. Class all around yeah. from Vlad. Handshakes My big for big. the table. More than $200,000 in career nice earnings for Vlad. He's going to have 1300 more on Great top. Playing with you, Vlad. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. And our newest sideline reporter, Tyson Apostle, is trapped <laughs> down the line. No, those are jumps there. Bust out of here. But now, How about that? <laughs> this ought to be something. <laughs> yeah. Get to that in a minute. I can't believe I freaking win race. I didn't. I, I meant to grab another chip. <laughs> it worked. I mean, I mean I'm it really did. I'm really surprised. <laughs> I'm not lying. It's Boston Rob with more than a quarter of the chips in play. When it went out, I was like, no. <laughs> Rob called a shot, Jeff. He yeah. said he was going to take this thing yeah. down when he announced the shuffle up and deal yesterday on day one. He said y'all are playing for second. Oh, the blinds are 20. Sorry. Didn't know we went up. Okay, you and me both. We are up to 10K, 20K at the 20K big blind ante. Mm -hmm. Rob has a pretty one in the small blind in the form of the 10 9 suited. Pay attention, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Quick for a Yeah. Me and Rob. The survivor. Survivor's Survivor. locked in. King 5 4 flying. That one's all Ashley. Good. 
60. Not much doing here for Rom and Ashley Jenkins. Just a giveaway winner. Takes down that pot. Let's send it down to Tyson Apostle. All right, I'm here with Vladimir Grechnikov, our first to bust from this final table on day two. Vladimir, how was the experience as a whole before we get into the painful stuff? It was awesome, <laughs> man. I had a lot of fun. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. Had a really good time. Okay, and uh, what happened there in the last hand? Did you get it in good, bad, medium? Well, I had figured Rob would be raising a lot if I had just limped the small into his big. And he raised, and I had a marginal hand, and I just thought that it would be all right to shove there. I had the king-queen, he had the ace-nine, it was a fair fight. He won the hand. Okay, that happens sometimes, yeah. you know, and it's hard with the big stack there. Uh, what are your thoughts and feelings about the uh, Run Good series? How has that experience been? Oh, phenomenal. This is incredible. Hope to come to many more of these in the future. Well, I think you have an op open invitation. So thank you so much, Vladimir, and uh, best of luck. And if you could uh, send bad juju to one person at the table, who would it be? Oh, stop. Nobody. I love everybody. <laughs> here, here we go. Take care, man. All right, Tyson, thank you. You know, Tyson, <laughs> just, you can watch the hands that go on so you don't have to ask if they got it in. I like it when he has. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're going to come here, see Tyson has a great job doing. with these. Yeah. You know what he reminds me of? Who's familiar that? with uh, Barstool Sports' Caleb Presley? Yes, yes. Sunday the conversation. Perfect comparison, especially yeah. with the hair now. Yeah. Sweet. That's a great little setup. Yeah, they can actually cook and yeah. Yeah, I cook. Exit. I leave my stuff here. Yeah. He has a, a, a nice yard. Backyard. Yeah. He has a nice backyard. I have a nice closet. Okay, my yeah, closet hood open under the, the gun. Do you get the master or does he, he has, get the master? This, this is what I love. This house. This house actually has two hearts. Oh, nice. One on the bottom floor and one on the top floor. That's way And then the so he has the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. We share the middle floor. And then the uh, top floor has a master bedroom, a oh. nice sitting area, and then two other bedrooms. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that would be cool. It's nice. very nice for us. <laughs> That's a great setup. Sounds like a nice house. I believe Denise has a very nice house, house from what I understand. I, I mean, it's it three stories. I yeah. I actually found it. <laughs> I think this is what we need to do. And <laughs> this is the one. This is the Cause especially because of the two master bedrooms. You want him to be comfortable, too. And you don't, yeah. always, you don't want other people all up in your bedroom and stuff. Yeah. That way he can still have friends over. And it's kind of like a separation of space. Yeah, yeah. Nice separation of space. Oh. Welcome, everybody, to the chat. It looks like we got Team Ortega in the house. Oh, there we go. And then he's actually really sweet. He made Welcome me a in to support casserole. their guy. Brazilian Ooh. market is he, here. He cooks some, too. We love to go to the Black Bear Diner. It's, it's a lot of, you know, when it's just two of you, even me, it's just me and my husband now, our children are, I have a 37-year-old and a 35-year-old. Mm -hmm. So the 37-year-old has all the kids. So when they come, we cook at home yeah, because it's 000. cheaper to cook at home. When it's, it's just me and him, we eat out ourselves. Well, he, and my husband cooks a lot, too. He's yeah. a really good cook. It's nice to have. Depending it's nice on, like, to his have pot a, roast is amazing. Oh. His steaks yeah. are amazing. Oh. I can't have his biscuits anymore, but they are <laughs> Pot roast, <laughs> steaks, sign biscuits. Yeah. 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 Keep talking, yeah. please. I I I'm <laughs> salivating <laughs> over here. Lay it off the biscuits. Give me my card. <laughs> John, you going to be staring at me like that? Okay. I'm just <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 it's it's, it's coming. <laughs> Yes. He is. I was, I was saying, <laughs> your I know will come. he is, but that's your what I'm saying. Your turn <laughs> is coming, baby. I was just realizing, like, she's Louise. I could feel it too. It's like, dang. <laughs> He's serious. Tim Kaye home. I look at the floor. You look at the board. Shot. Yeah. Oh, the floor. <laughs>
What's the wine? <laughs> What are we raising, Ashley? <laughs> well, we have a good time. Ay, ay, ay. We talk more than the pros. The pros all sit here. Quiet. Boring. Oh, Tim Cahill has yeah. one cash oh. on his resume. Yeah. And that is the win at the Deep Stack event just last month in Hamul. In San Diego, that win, good for about 11K uh, and a ticket and to this event. There was an eight, seven, and a five. An eight. eight. And an eight. eight. Yeah. Five, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, we got to see we were paying attention. <laughs> I was halfway. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I need to like zoom, zoom. Look at <laughs> Stacking those beautiful chips. You know what? Good job, good job. I'm just happy to be blue here. Blue chips were 5K, too. purple yeah. chips were 25K. Happy I'm well. still in it, right? You had a little lavender stuck right. in the blue stack. Oh, I don't no. know if you noticed that, Jeff. Oh, I didn't no, see that. No, I did not. I just want to give away. Nice. And so. Oh, nice. So you played in this last show, too? No, I Oh, oh I you just, just won this I just, show, they yeah, had, I watched it last year. They had a little intro contest giveaway. And Oh, awesome. There it is. So I actually, cool. actually yeah. this is my first official, I guess, run good event. Oh, okay. It's <coughs> been cool a good place. experience. Yeah, cool Now, Non-flight yeah. opportunity to play in the Folk Rose studio. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Yeah, that's what it's all about. I think it's better, too. No pressure. Yeah. Put it all no money yeah, invested. Exactly. <laughs> no. Exactly. We're not trying to recoup any kind of ROI. Raise and take it for Dakota Odell. More than $238,000 in career live tournament earnings. Entered the day as the chip leader, currently in second place. I caught up with him before play started at this final table. Dakota, you take the chip lead into the final table of the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. What in the world is running through your mind right now? Uh, it's pretty crazy. You know, this final table feels uh, a lot different than most. You know, it just feels like it's fun, a fun environment. I'm excited to see what happens, you know. Give us a sense of your poker background. I know you're an experienced player. You, you've been battling. You've been in the final table streets before. Yeah, uh, I started out with cash a lot, and then this year I really took off tournaments, traveling around the Midwest, and uh, yeah, it's been an exciting adventure, and I've had a few final tables and a couple of tournament wins this year, and who knows what'll happen here, I'm trying to keep it running. Give us a sense of what it's like to play poker here at the Poker Go studio. Oh man, I've never been mic'd up, or <laughs> the RFID cards, it's all crazy, but we've all watched it on TV, so I'm excited to be a part of that today, it's pretty cool. We got you wearing the patch. Yes, sir. So we're excited to have you. Best of luck today, all right? Buddy, appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, mostly just poker. No, on casinos, though, but most just of the Dakota's put some results You're right. this year. He right. certainly right. has right. multiple right. scores 84,000, right. nearly 85,000. Yeah. <laughs> Collected his first circuit title. So you play, uh, you have to pay like members. That was a $400 buy-in. It's different places. Won a run good championship. Council Bluffs, that was nearly $50,000. It's been a great 2022 for Dakota Odell. Look at the co-founder of Loud Gaming. It's great. You're included in the conversations, too. I wish I played. Sorry, I don't know how many children we had. I had Nearby. That jacket. Oh, Missouri. The tag is wearing. I'd like one of those. Yeah. Little varsity yeah. coat. No. I am from Brazil. What, what, I'd what, rock what that, Jeff. Yeah, I'm sure they'd lose that off. Gotcha. Where you live? Sure. Oh, yeah, okay. Vegas. That's a okay. fun city. All right, we're tw the blinds are 20,000, yeah. Ashley. Loud yeah. is the first esports organization <laughs> to reach 1 billion <laughs> views on YouTube. Yeah, we have we 1 billion? 1 billion. Um, the series now. Because uh, Andrew Newman. That is insane. Yeah. Speaking of insane, love the chat, everyone in here. Yeah. Let us know where you're tuning good. in from. Jeff and I are in the chat with you. Yeah. While you're at it, click that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to our Poker Go YouTube channel. Look, I'll raise you with the King Deuce off. Trying to capitalize off that big stack with Boston Rob out of the hand. Callejo in there with fours. But you're going to raise with 
King Deuce off. Might as well come King Nine Deuce. It's been that kind of year for it's Dakota Odell. Beep beep, I'm a Jeep from Portland, Oregon. Les Marston, New Zealand. Catherine Schmidt, Indiana. I think it was a rough outing for the uh, Hoosiers, the Hoosiers today. Got, yeah. got crushed today. Yeah, they're going to boil her up later, though. Purdue's going to come in swinging. A lot of folks from Brazil. <laughs> it's interesting. Brett from Australia. Good day, mate. That was good. It's interesting how other people. Very nice, Jeff. Sharni from South Africa. Craig. So West Yorkshire, okay England. Say stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just don't say the actual hand on it. Uh, they, well, Mary says watching in Maine and supporting hands hashtag. Yeah. 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 Hers yeah. demand? Yeah. Hers demand? Yeah. Tell us about that, yeah. Mary. Yeah. Explain yeah. the hashtag. Yeah. Unless it's inappropriate. Yeah. Although I want to know anyway. Yeah, you can put it in the chat. But it's like, okay, and that's a good way to remember it. Dead man's hand. Love having this Brazilian contingent. Yeah, I had no idea how much money is in those uh, gaming competitions. It's crazy, man. It's pretty wild. Used to watch uh, Shroud all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I'd watch him for hours. I love Shroud. Every day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like on CSGO? Mm hmm. Yep. I will. I used to be into uh, PUBG, Battle PUBG Battleground. That's oh, where yeah. I started. And he I played was that a so, lot. Dude, he was like number one in that game. 45? Okay, Brazil. Here comes Ortega. There's your guy. Okay. Oh, Cleo with premium ace king. More than just over 20 big blinds. Flatting. Did you live? Certainly some merit to it, Jeff. You can keep in I see you worse time. aces and worse I like kings. I liked him. I like him. Over here, Ortega Ooh. very live with the queen eight. Really? Yeah. Clubs. Uh, and I live in a van, so I just drive Ashley down. was right to be Same. weary of oh, okay, like those calls. Okay. Yeah. 963 with one club. I kind of like my home casino, even though it's not super close to home. Now we have the tournament in Bay Area. Now they start uh, three weeks, four weeks, weeks here. October, October 31st. Ray's announced October instantly October. with the ace king. And a well, min raise yeah. at that. So seven I have to come to Saturday. Yeah, okay. You can do that, yeah. They have two series in January, though. No. I'm talking about Raleigh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, well, this is the, uh, a horse yeah, of a different color. One, and then a second event. Playing yeah. ace king so in a very a odd year. fashion. <laughs> it just work. It does. A little juke move by Ortega Since before folding. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I four. That hey, I'll always. just win that one. Yeah. He's like, oh. In unique fashion <laughs> with the ace king. Sorry. Don't you hate it when that happens? When you <laughs> do it and it actually happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I then learned not to do that, right? I would have been. Music. Poker Go is kicking off 2023 in a big way with the Season 10 premiere of High Stakes Poker. It's coming in January, and you can watch Daniel Negreanu, Antonio Espandiari, and more on that new season of High Stakes Poker exclusively on Poker Go. Sign up using the promo code WATCHHSP10 for $20 off a new annual subscription. That's WATCHHSP10. Antonio playing poker? Antonio S. Fandiari is back on High Stakes Poker. The season is phenomenal. Jennifer Tilly, of course. Eric Person, we saw his name. Jennifer Tilly, recent Women in Poker Hall of Fame inductee. Congratulations to her. And to Angelica Hale, Terry oh. Smith. I'll pull it on the flop. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah. laughs> have fun. You two it's, young men have fun. It's, it's <laughs> funner to watch. Yeah. I've yet to <laughs> stay a hand early. You know, I just realized if you want to subscribe to Poker Go, you don't even have to download the app. You can do it right on YouTube. Oh, that's right. Now you can. You're there. Yeah. You can subscribe right now. Make sure you guys check it out. You can't allow it. I just switched to YouTube TV. Don't mean to brag. 
and oh one of the packages included Poker Go. At least it was like a cool. quick re-raise. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Part of the yeah. sports yeah. package. Yeah. 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 Extra yeah. sports package. That's a little di that channel's a little different. Oh, than gotcha. Getting the whole thing if you subscribe to it okay. on YouTube. 20. 20, Still fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so great. Not bad. Cool. Have you tuned in? Well, I tuned into Poker Go, but you're telling me it's a different what thing. <laughs> it's not. You don't get everything. Okay. On the sports package, you get a lot. In okay. fact, you and I are on Point there home. quite a bit doing oh, well, coverage. Well, then I'll definitely watch. I love me some me. You know, I don't know if you've noticed. I did well. She's a king. No, I've I noticed. Really <laughs> 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 Look at this it's little value cool. blocker bet. The duckling is good for Ortega. Staring down his opponent. He's got a read. Thank you. Nice pick up for Jean Ortega. Well, I, I'm waiting for your raise, to be honest. I should have jammed with it. Well, but you had aces probably, didn't you? Yeah. 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 No. You didn't have no. What was the other hand? I forget what the other hand was. Eight, nine, seven, eight, something like that crazy. Mm. Bluffer got busted, right? <laughs> By a better bluffer. <laughs> yeah, bluff the bluffers sometimes. Forty-five. Mm. That's a little insight. Yeah, yeah cool. give it to us. Mary Fox, Erstemann, Queen of Hearts Good in folks. Germany. Okay. It's a women's it's poker a org. Mm -hmm. Ashley yeah. Jenkins yeah. here at the yeah. final yeah. table is rocking the badge. Oh, oh, okay. Supporter for Ashley Jenkins. I mean, it's, it's, that's right. Thank you for that, <laughs> Mary. Right. You never know. Heads up, man. No, man. And if we're butchering the pronunciation. Pronunciation, please. Well, it's Free German, so there's no way we're getting it right. Right. Oh, One for Dakota O'Dell, whose favorite poker player is Adrian Mateo. The like Conquistador. Yeah. Wow. I haven't seen the. Uh, Conquistador Adrian Mateos recently. He stayed in Europe. Didn't come out here for the big WPT oh, yeah, World WPT Championship. Going right? on as well. Speaking of WPT, you know what I got to say yesterday on commentary? You'll Wh love this. What's that? I got to say Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Uncle Fooey. It was quad All the mallards? Deuces. Yeah. I didn't even know you were on yesterday. Well, thank you for you your You did support. day three? I did the end. I did some interviews here. Yeah. Ran over to the win. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. You know me. I don't say no to Who too many gigs. Who are you so lucky to be with in the booth? With Melissa. Melissa Schubert. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's great. Good time. Oh. I gave you plenty of shout outs during that deuce's hand because I know you'd be thrilled. I wish I had known. Queen Deuce, all clubs. Two pair for Odell. Foster Mile, the only one with a club in his hand. Coffee? I need coffee. some coffee. Yeah. Don't I didn't take the coffee. I, take, I mean, I asked for a green tea earlier, but you know what? Now it's just like the same thing. <laughs> Do we go on this break? He said something about the break, but I don't want to. I don't know. I don't Are we skipping this one? Minutes, so he said. Oh, so we're skipping this one that yeah, uh, that's about to hit. We have. This is only 60. Yeah. So no we have to play another one. Yeah, because yeah, he said go to the bathroom. Yeah, I just heard somebody. Oh, we picked up a wheel draw nice. to go along with the baby flush draw. Yeah. I 
I would like, like the a call. coffee and Bailey's. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that does sound Yeah, there good. we go. That's I, good. I, I get, I get, a, I get a coffee and Bailey's. Yeah, come on, guys. I love a little coffee and Bailey's. Don't want to get sleepy. Odell hoping he's up against just a not bad, not bad, not solo bad, not bad. ace here so we can get some value for two pair. But I'll make the double. <laughs> I, don't I don't see a world in which Ooh, yeah. this hand can Excited. continue unless Boston yeah. Rob goes nuts here around the river. That is the fold face. Dakota Odell has picked up me. a couple pots in a row. Still wanted to get in there with the Queen Deuce offsuit. Yeah, even after Ortega called out of the small blind. Came along for the ride. Spot two pair. Nothing wrong with that. It does make it a little easier. Oh, okay. <laughs> Odell, after that hand, takes back the chip lead. Both he and Boston Rob now hovering nice around that 1.5 million chip line. They kill you, they grant your wishes. <laughs> Tell me the best card. <laughs> yeah, I could use some aces, please. I don't think it works that way, but you might as well try. Tell me the best move, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know that. They don't need to tell me. I don't need to move you on. I know that no, one. No. I don't mind his folding the best I know it's just the ace nine careful. suited. Right. That's right after you Ooh. opened. It's been suited yeah, for yeah, Boston yeah, Rob, what we would call a premium. I think game like no. 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 And Queens for Ortega. Starting the hand with about thirty five bigs. Me too. About two, so I don't have many eighty five thousand total. Mm -hmm. A small three bet to 85K. There's a chance the money can go in right mm -hmm. here, right now. Two huge hands colliding. 220. The four bet to 220,000, the all in and the call, and here we go. Sean Ortega with two queens up against Boston Raw's ace king suited. Brent, chat is gonna go nuts for this one. Here we go, closer. who are we rooting for, chat? A little closer. Put it in there, the A, the K, or the Q, let us know. It's 1.4 million in the middle. Ortega could become one of the chip leaders, but it comes ace, jack, 10. <laughs> With two hearts, oh, three to the royal. You got that back to our flush draw and a gutter. Now it's Ortega looking for a king. Could go runner, runner, full house, which will not happen. John Ortega down to three outs. Needs a king. but you don't want a queen either. To stay alive. <coughs> and it's a queen on the river. <laughs> oh, which is just boy. extra painful oh, as it nice. does make Boston Rob a straight and it does fun, um, eliminate right, John Ortega in eighth place for $1,300. Yeah, and the founder of Loud Gods, he's out of here, but he put on, he had a loud performance, Jeff. Yeah. $1,300 bucks for Ortega. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I played beneath the blinds, baby. I have off to the eighth level. I nice hand, Rob. A little known fact yeah. about it was nice Ortega that we didn't mention. He was just Dynamic named by Forbes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I believe it's the so 30 under 30 wow. list, which is, uh, that's as good as it gets. Yeah. Just an absolute oh, phenom oh, in the world of esports. And then uh, Queen 10. Big stack, Rob. I'm out. Big stack Rob, there you go. Keep doing that Rob, keep knocking them out, all right? I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. No, you cover me, Rob. <laughs> 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 we get more chips now. <laughs> uh, the uh, time, yeah. That's it, yeah, that's seven. Yeah. 
What's that? Oh, that's seven. Yeah. We're at seven. Mm -hmm. So bring them up. Okay. okay. Are there any more support types? Cool down. Okay. okay. I want to pay attention. Yeah, three or four plays move about five, five fifty. Must have mobbed the chip leader more than a hundred bigs. Pay sixty thousand. Oh. Denise defends in the big with the king jack. Take this pot to king. And Odell with absolutely nothing. We're going to try and tell a story that he has a big hand on the button with just 6 4 offsuit. Denise check calls. Nine of hearts on the turn. See if Odell. Yeah, he's going to give it up. I think that's a yeah. wise check back. Seems okay. like. Denise has a very good hand where she would just call as played. Let's send it down to our all-star sideline reporter, Tyson Apostle. I'm sure he's very nervous in front of the camera. He's barely received any camera time throughout the course of his career. But he managed to track down John Ortega after Ortega busted in eight. All right, I am here with John Ortega, the latest casualty here at the Run Good Series Pro-Am event by, sponsored by Poker Go. And uh, John, you are the founder of Loud, Loud Esports. Correct. And uh, you play a lot of poker as well, I assume? Actually, no, I just started playing recently because one of my co-founders is really good and just took all my money. I was like, no, I have to get better at this. <laughs> you gotta so, get your money yeah, back. You, get my money uh, back. you did pretty well. I was at your table for a long time yesterday. Oh, yeah, chip lead for a lot of the day yesterday as well. But then I got to the table. And then you lost all your chips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, you were chip lead. You, oh yeah, I was chip leading. You were chip sure. lead. Yes. You took yes. a lot of my chips as well. So I yes. feel like I have to get better to take my <laughs> money back from you. You have to get better to take your money back from your partner. Yeah. And uh, what's next for you? I guess wait for another invite and come back and take everyone's money. Uh, you're invited. All right, you're done. Okay, <laughs> uh, back to you, uh, Jeff and Brent. Thank you. No, thank you, Tyson. <laughs> Much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, boy. That's great. He's got plenty of invites in his future, John Ortega. Hey, listen, man, I'll get him in as many games as he wants to play in. <laughs> Tournaments, cash games, you name it, Ortega. You got my number, buddy. I'd also like to do more of Tyson sideline interview. Can we yeah, just do yeah. all Tyson for a little while? Just let him run the show. He's confidently awkward. Yeah, good way to put it. It's a showman. Nice. Ryan Robb. Yeah, I'm seeing this chat, buddy. What's going on, Ryan Robb, 444? Yeah. Dana, I like Tyson. We love Tyson. Well, we know Singh is not folding 8-6 suited. No chance. Love suited cards. This one's even connected. Whoa. No way. Oh, yeah, no way. Yeah, no way. No way. Maybe just thinks that Kalejo is very tight yeah, and says, oh, I better stay out of harm's way. Boston Rob on top of the leaderboard. More than 2.1 million in chips. Dakota Odell entered the day with the chip lead. He's in second. Denise Pratt in third. Cool one. Singh, Tim Callejo, Ashley Jenkins, Force Kalar rounding out. What's left of our final table after the elimination of John Ortega and Vladimir Greshnikov? Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am coming to you from the 
Coco Ghost Studio cool. in Las Vegas. Check <laughs> out alongside Brent Hanks. Thanks so much for being with us. Sorry. Kurt Steven. One, your caps lock button is stuck. <laughs> Two, you should read the questions in order. Why air such a low buy-in? And then his second question is, what is the buy-in? <laughs> well. How uh, do you know it's lower? Kurt, I don't really know where to begin with you, pal. I think we'll just leave you alone. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Forrest with the ace-10. Boston Rob went 3x pre with the fives. Sings in there, that extra money in there with the 7 8 suited. Lowen. All of it. Good luck, man. I'm all in. All in. Robbery shoves. Spinning in. Here we go. Forced uh, Kolar, the one all in and at risk with the ace 10 against Boston Rob's fives. I know. Boston Rob very reserved. Would you like for me to use my time machine? Restraint. No. You should have just like talked yourself. Yeah, I will melt it. 560k in this pot. <laughs> Force would be back up to more than 20 bigs if he found the win. It's going to be hard oh. to find the win on the Jack oh. 5 deuce oh. flop. Oh. Are a couple back door straight draws. Back yeah. Don't cut him out yet, Jeff. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the turn is a king. <laughs> Four outs are available. I'm hoping he just Can he find a queen to stay in this tournament? Oh, Ooh, it was paint on the river, but it's a game. <laughs> and that'll do it for Forrest uh, Collar, class you. act of the pleasure of playing with him before. Very good poker player as well. Out in seventh, $1,625. Fun to have him here in the studio. It certainly was. Hailing from Reno, Nevada, just up north. And there were six, Jeff. Yeah, and Boston Rob extending his chip lead. Josh Arre is starting to sweat a little bit, perhaps, as he's watching this one, giving Boston Rob 20 to 1 on winning this tournament. He's got almost 40% of the chips in play. Shortest stack now belongs to Ashley Jenkins, but she's plenty comfortable, 18 picks. Plenty of play for Jenkins. Boston Rob, an absolute pile. Yes, as you stated, Jeff, 40% of the chips in play. Somewhere, Josh Arie, I, I has to be headed down here. This yeah. is a You're substantial sweat. You gotta watch this one on the line for oh. Arie. <laughs> if you're just tuning now. in josh oh, rea and boston later. rob have a uh, prop bet in place i believe rob is getting somewhere 12 15 to rob, one Rob's you have to win it all to one. 20 to one 10 to one before we dive more into that let's send it down once more to tyson apostle all right i am here with our third exit of the day forrest kohler forrest it's been a pleasure watching you play you were smiling the entire time yesterday Especially bright, I think, when you took all of my chips. Yes, I did. Uh, that moment. It was a great, great time. Got to tell everyone about it. You told everyone well, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I got to knock out Tyson Apostle. That was awesome. Like, where did you post that? Uh, no, no posting. Just, just, just uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, still stings a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Rob got me back a little bit there by uh, knocking you out yeah. just barely. Yeah, he did. Uh, how much did you enjoy this event? Oh, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. First time in the Poco Go studio. Really cool to see it. Um, it was. Yeah, a ton of fun. Okay, well, I can't wait to watch you play poker again and uh, maybe get to that top step. You know, those rings aren't easy to win. You've won one already. They didn't give me one. They didn't give you no, one? <laughs> everyone else got one, but I did not get one of these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to make some phone calls. Yeah, this is uh, problematic. I don't know what happened. I don't this know is what a happened. bad look, you know? <laughs> and I in no way, shape, or form represent anything that's going on here. I'm no, Tana, uh, Tana, Joe, and Haley, and all the people that are doing it. Phenomenal job in all those series. I've had a blast <laughs> playing on um, this show. I can't wait for 2023. Yeah, I feel like that light-hearted attitude is the reason you don't have a ring already. 
<laughs> it might be. It might be. I need to take this a little bit more seriously. Yeah, I'm going to talk yeah. to some people. Forrest, always a pleasure. Thank take you. care. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> a ton of car and boss man at Run Good. You got to get Forrest a ring. Get the man a ring. Come he on. He won the Run Good 55 at Thunder Valley early in the year for more than $18,000. I finished ninth in that event. Not about me, but just others relevant. Well, you would not have received a ring had you won <laughs> right, it, apparently. Right. Like Tyson's little disclaimer that he does not represent Poker Go or Run Good in these matters. Boston Rob, the goods, the birds, the aces. 170. Three raise, 170,000. Small three bet to 170K. It has been Boston Rob's day thus far. Love the sizing here, too. Just inviting this call. Queen 6-6. Six, six. Rob thinking it through. What's what's best? All in. Clay All in. goes for the shove, hoping that his opponent has a queen, some sort of pair to make the call. another day let's see Queen just be hoping that ace jack high is good gonna fling a time extension into the middle uh -huh. 30 seconds more hard to find too many hands we're still ahead of a hand like ace 10 ace 9 ace 8 suited all right i fold Lay down by KA, huh? Good hand by Boston Rob. Survivor superstar, also stars on Secret Celebrity Renovation on CBS. Also, Poker Go Ambassador. Our newest ambassador at that. Right before play started today, I was able to catch up with Boston Rob for a couple minutes. Well, Rob, you told us that former WSOP Player of the Year, Josh Aria, would be anti-sweating you today. Why is that? Yeah, well, you know, Josh and I have been friends a long time, and we made a friendly little side wager, and it's a must win. And I got to tell you right now, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. You don't have to tell us the amount, but can you tell us the odds that you're getting? Yeah, so I laid him 10 to 1, which was way more than he should have gotten this event. He's laying me 20 to 1. So... And I saw he punted off a pile, which was probably uh, comforting for you. So you enter this final table. Yeah. You got to be gaining more and more confidence as a poker player, huh? You know, I'm feeling good. I've, like, dedicated more time to studying the game. Shout out to our friend Chance Corneth and Chip Leader Coaching. Those guys have put me on track to, you know, succeed. And uh, it's going good so far. It's fun to be back at another final table. And finally, Rob, soon I'm going to turn this mic over to your podcast co-host, yeah. Tyson Apostle. How's that going to go? Is that going to be an absolute disaster, or am I not going to have a job soon? Listen, Tyson's been a great friend of mine for a long time as well, and you know Tyson. He loves to joke around and have fun. You might have a little competition, Jeff. <laughs> Appreciate the time. Good luck today. the time rob i think you do have a little competition yeah, out there and, uh, jeff tyson is uh he's polished well i don't know if he's polished which is what makes him incredible meanwhile what do we got going on here trips for dakota odell jacks and thighs for keho all in all in and we have all okay. of it <laughs> the overbet jam that just gets snapped off by Callejo, and he's going to see the bad news, and his run is over. Yep. Nice hand. 
Tim Callejo out in six. All right, Tim. The winner of the Deep Stack Ring event in San Diego at the Hamul Casino stop just last month has cash number two of his poker tournament career. Good run by Mr. Callejo. Well, this let him tell off. Brent, should I rehash our moment from before the show when I oh, spoke so with Tim? Under, they said 90 minutes an hour <laughs> for this. I think you should, okay, Jeff. So I'd like you to rehash it. Excuse me. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeff. He says, hi, I'm Tim. I said, hi, nice to meet you. He says, nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how long this is. And then I said, good luck today. He said, thanks. So you're welcome. Yeah, I mean, that's just the, the story is too good not to be told <laughs> really twice. Yeah, I'd like that's to hear that I, once I more later share on. It again. Yeah, probably I'll share. A wonderful interaction experience really was. for the two of you. Sing a couple of honeys. Oh. And I believe the action is on Sing. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Yeah. Cool one. Three, Bumps it up 75, to 75K. Jay Friend in the chat says, Poland for my boy Dakota. There we go. Southwest Mo, baby. That's Missouri. Well, it might be Mo. Maybe his nickname Maybe is Mo Southwest Manna. Mo. <laughs> Mo Manna, no problem. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Southwest Mo calls with acquaintance. Let's ignore <laughs> the fact that he's from Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> and oh. trouble could be brewing. For Odell, he does flop a 10, backdoor straight draws, good sink. In good shape here with Queens, bets 150K. So 370K behind for him. Southwest Mo in a little bit of <laughs> trouble. At the mo. Clarified by Jay Friend in the chat that it's repping in Southwest Missouri. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So gutters for both. It's the only way Odell can win this pot outright. And showdown is if he finds another 10. How about saying, look at this, undeterred. Mace presents itself and just not afraid. Perhaps we aren't even concerned about King Queen when you're holding two queens in your hand. Does knuckle. Dakota checks back. And the river brings another queen, so it's a set of queens for Singh. It's queens and tens for Odell as the case yes. queen rolls off. And I think Singh just let Odell off the hook, although now maybe Dakota thinking we can value bet queens and tens exactly what he's trying to do here. Yeah, and too much of a hand for Singh. I yeah. think sometimes you just got to pay him the money. Say, all right, buddy, show me the good. Show me a king. Show me a flush. Otherwise, I got you. Too fair. Yeah, too fair. No good. Too no good. Seven king. Queen, queen, queen. Okay. <laughs> Five players are left after Tim Callejo's elimination in Four. sixth place. Right. So with an elimination, we do get the flop, Tyson Apostle. On, on the turn, you jam my foot, for sure. But the river gave me some. All right, I am here with Tim Callejo, our winner, ring winner from San Diego. Yep. Impressive run. Also the oldest guy in the field today at 45. <laughs> 69 is fine. 69, you know. Give or yeah, take a few years. 69 is the new 45. No, it's okay. Uh, did you enjoy your time out here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Studio? I'm excited, yes. Okay. Well, we yeah. look forward to more from you. Oh, yeah. That's why I was going to ask somebody here, if, how do I come in and play again, you know, in one of your events like this? 
Well, Do I you have know, to qualify by the weaning? Well, you know where the door is right now, so you just come there and then come through that front door. Okay. And then talk to the guy who's there. Maybe he'll let you play. Okay. And bring money. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to Jeff and Brand. I hate to put you guys on the spot, but it is yours. Thank you, Tyson. I think we were ready <laughs> for the toss back. Oh, phenomenal. It, though. Oh, man. Yeah, pretty much. It, there's a tournament going on. You just walk in with some cash, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's it. You've got oh, the money. Man. Find you a seat. Denise just calls here out of the small blind with the ace queen. Sing in there as well. So three ways to this flop. Ashley had opened with the Jack-9 suited. Ten seven four with one spade. Gutter back to her flush draw for Ashley. Denise's is high is best. Is the opportunity here for Jenkins. Okay, Jenkins wins. Our seat giveaway winner. I caught up with her during day one of the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. Okay, Ashley, right. tell us about that moment when you found out that you had made it into the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. I actually had forgot about it. I think it was last year I entered because I watched the stream. I thought it was great. Great event, um, good mix, small, intimate, very lighthearted. Um, but yeah, I think Tana emailed me about a week ago and said, hey, Ashley, you won. I was already going to be here. And so that was easy for me to just be like, yeah, sure, I'll show up. I saw a Poker Hall of Famer leave your table with no chips. Would that be your doing? What happened there? So yeah, I knocked out Elia Lezra. Uh, this is after I bluffed him. I did I did bluff him in an earlier hand, but I, I knocked him out. It was Vine B, Vine B Vine, and yeah, he's he's out the door. He went all in with the flesh draw, and I top pair, and I held. It's awesome having you here. I want to send you back to the action. Go crush awesome. him, all right? Thank Thanks, you. Ashley. Appreciate it. Thanks to Ashley for the time, and this is awesome. Just winning the the giveaway, and now in the final five. Hard nut to cheer for Ashley Jenkins. I know we're not allowed to I think pick in this anyone, tournament Jeff, we make but an exception. Yeah, you know, very special. Hasn't even played a run good event until this Pro-Am. Opportunity to take home nearly $9,000 today. A total free roll. Dream. Denise flops a pair of jacks in the Broadway draw. That's action flop. Brent, we're excited about this one coming up in just four days. It's the PGT Championship, the top 21 on the PGT leaderboard and battling for how much? Well, they're playing for $500,000 winner take all. A two-day tournament that we will cover every step of the way. We'll be here with you from hand number one until we crown a PGT champion, until we award $500,000 in cold hard cash. You and I will be in the booth, but Natalie Bodie will be joining us. She'll be out on the sidelines. Indeed, Jeff. Wait till you see the size of the trophy. Oh, it comes got along. A good one? It, Another it good is one? with the PGTC oh. Cup. Just massive. You, there's no chance you can lift it. In fact, it's <laughs> taller than you. It and I'm at tall. About I'm five, five, it stands at about five foot eleven. There we go. Yeah. Weighs about two twenty. Just <laughs> massive. <laughs> Sounds pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so.
Some serious implications, by the way, for the PGT Championship, whereas the uh, the points that you're earning over at the World Poker Tour World Championship, the 10K main event, mm -hmm. will count towards the leaderboard. So there's a chance whoever's sitting there in the top 21, if you're 21st, you're 20th, you could potentially get bumped out. I haven't really looked in to see if who that may affect. I see you've got the leaderboard up right now, but Daniel Negreanu was sort of towards the I bottom mean, of that list. I mean, he was 21st, Katz. and he's yeah. still in. Yeah, so those are critical Carey's points 19th. for, yeah, uh, for both it. Negreanu and Katz to make sure they have a shot at that championship. The other interesting tidbit about the event is that if you're in the top 21, and you don't play, right? for whatever reason, you don't want to come win a free $500,000. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't fill the seats. Oh. So the field just shrinks, right? We're not we're not bumping up who's in 22nd, 23rd. So it's uh, we're, we're excited about that event. We'll get into that leaderboard in a minute. Let's take a look at this leaderboard right now. Boston Rob on top by a significant margin. He has almost 2.7 million in chips. Dakota Odell in second, Denise Pratt in third, Kulwant Singh and Ashley Jenkins rounding out this final table. As they fight for that trophy, almost $9,000. Stephen Chidwick leads the way on the Poker Go Tour leaderboard, which means he will take the chip lead into this tournament at the very beginning. Correct? Very similar to how the FedEx Cup works for the PGA, where depending on your sort of pole positioning at the end of the year with points determines your starting stack for that event. Love that. So you have about two times some people in the tournament. Second place on that leaderboard is Phil Ivey. And third place is Jason Kuhn. So you'll see all the stars in that event. You'll see the World Series of Poker main event champion, Espen Jorstad, the milkman, Nikita's going to be here. He might be too rich, but I, I think he'll be here. Well, if we won on TV, it'd be quite funny. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I <don't get> <laughs> Other than those silly mistakes I made. Gwant Singh is an impressive resume. Final table to salute to Warriors yeah. event at the World Series. Like Winner of a run good event that, in Grayton. <laughs> $600 buy-in for their main event, and he won 100K. $600 buy-in, $100,000 <laughs> out the door a couple days later. I think that was a decent stop in wow. the Bay Area. 1,144 entries. Seventy-five. Well, Kurt Steven in the chat playing the role of bottom line, like on ESPN, and he says he says Ethan Rampage taking down the twenty-five k high roller for almost a million. All right. And then he said, let's see if we can see a flop. Made a comment oh, at Bass Guy. He said, yeah, <laughs> Ethan Rampage, yeah, <laughs> took down the win, 25K by a high roller, and won 980,000. And then he says, Rampage took down the high roller 10K like six weeks ago and being a hard field, beat Fox and heads up to win it for about 200K. So thank you, Kurt. <laughs> I love Rampage. Rampage just going all out on that 25K, taking all of himself and just. Just winning the damn thing. He had a hundred percent of himself. Yeah. Bullet number two. He Was he nuts? Blast off. Yeah, he's absolutely insane. And then he wins it for about nine hundred k. Also saw that he did a. I guess it was controversial for some, but he, he gave and he it, refunded right. all of the people that had his action on the first bullet. Yeah. So uh, what's the problem? Uh, exactly. Right. One, okay, it's your money. Do whatever you want. Right. Two, 
What an awesome gesture I to continue so to get people to want to come back and buy your action along your journey. Supporting the people who supported you. And who cares if it sets some sort of precedent or expectation? The reality is he can do whatever he wants. Anyway. You will see the flock. Yes, I don't get it. it. I know, I get it. <laughs> I wish I had a piece of that first know, bullet, I'll tell you that right now. Because you raised, but I mean, I guess I could have defended. I should have lived. Good enough hands, in my opinion. We'll see a flop one of these days, I know it. <laughs> I guess I could have defended. The viewers wanted me to defend, did they? Yeah. Hey, well, when are we on break? I think they can Shout out to Hair Club, a, a long part time, of the like Poker Go studio. Like we're skipping, I think we Run good all stars, Brian. Yeah. Can we get right now? Will they break? Request? <laughs> Average stack here. 50 big blinds. We are very deep. Jenkins is our short stack. She has a, a little under 20 bigs. Singh, our second shortest right. stack, has 40. Just extremely deep. We could be here for 70, hours. Do you have any plans later today? I'll tell you what, if this is not over <laughs> before the Bills game, you're going to be finishing this coverage on your well, own. I figured. I have got a front row seat on my couch with some very healthy food and beverages. You gonna drink while watching? Me? Yeah. You have any plans? Yeah. Well. I gotta do the end of this broadcast. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to come join Thank the uh, you. the Hanks household. For the invite. We've got fresh mahi on the smoker. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Squish the fish. I smoke the fish, Jeff. Sweet. I made that up. I think we're going to order Greek. Seventy-five thousand. I like the shit stack. I think everybody likes it. You're here trying to get it. I was like, he's real quiet, but his tip speaks for him. So there you go, right? Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. Guys, we're at fifteen thirty. We're trying no, to get scared to mess with you, uh, Boston Rob, right? He's Lines definitely 15, wearing 30, his, ba yeah. his uh, patch proud. Yeah. Chip leader. Yes. Yeah. You are chip leading. Do you like their website? They're great guys. Yeah. Yep. And they know what they're doing. And we hear from Boston Rob for the first time today. Hasn't had a lot to say at the final table. He's too busy collecting chips. Very <laughs> focused, yeah, isn't he? Very in. intense. He needs a little wine. Loosen <laughs> up a little bit, you know? No interest. You're a TV you star. Movie notes? Gotta have him out <laughs> here. Yeah, he's camera shy. Running the oh, yap. Great. It is. It's funny. It's scary, too. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No. Nope. 75? Raise 75,000. Buddy Forrest, or Dakota, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest left. Hey, my horse is gone. Dakota's from day one. Oh. still here. <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, we just got caught up in a couple of interesting sure. hands. Dakota, given that look, said, I know you don't have any of that. Uh, no chance. The question is, can he pull the trigger and put Jenkins to the test? It's just King Deuce, no spade as well. Not much left behind for Jenkins. Okay. Thanks. I finally get to take one down. It's been a very slow day for me. That's a nice pickup. For Miss Jenkins, now up to 560,000. <coughs> Winning the seat via giveaway. And is still in the mix with five players left. They're playing for the trophy and for this. 
now at least $2,600 in cash, about a $600 pay jump from 5th to 4th, and up top, $8,775. Cook says LFG giveaway winner converting to money. Indeed, that's what it's all about. Let us know in the chat who you are rooting for with five players left. Is it Boston Rob? Is it Denise Pratt? Is it Cool Want Singh? Is it our giveaway winner, Ashley Jenkins? Or is it Dakota Odell? Who we have nicknamed Southwest Mo. Please do. And I'll tell you what, for those wondering, how the heck can I play in this event? Well, one. Make cool. sure you attend a Runga Tour Stop yeah. in 2023 as we'll have qualifiers once more trying to earn their seats. And I'll be working with Runga to come up with more giveaway opportunities. You said you want to see Fox. It'll I be some sort of two-step process They're where you great. subscribe to Poker Go, annual subscription, and then you'll be allotted the opportunity to qualify for this okay. event. Meanwhile, a little bit of trouble brewing for Ashley Jenkins. Yikes. She does flop a queen, but it's trip fives for Odell. 75,000. Yeah, a little, let me look again, make sure I've got what I think I have. Yeah, confirmed trips. Sets the trap. Oh, boy. Nine on the turn. Queens and nines for Ashley. 410K behind. 360K in the pot. And for Ashley, it is hard to blame her if she goes for all of it. Thinking maybe she just got very fortunate with queens and nines. Could she be up against another sort of queen? Queen Jack, King Queen. Bad news on the horizon. 175, 175,000. All in? All of it and the call, oh, and here gross. we go. Dakota. It's rough. Is it 5'9? Five 5'7? Nine? Mm. Five nine? No. It's a setup. Ooh. Four outs Ooh. for Ashley Jenkins, our giveaway Not winner. I did that for the stream. About 1.2 million in this pot. Jenkins get lucky here. Uh, she cannot. Right, and we will That's say good game to Ashley. Ashley. A blast having her in our studio for this event. She is out in fifth place. Uh, uh, wonderful Jack. score okay. for Ashley Jack Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Our giveaway winner. Oh, she yeah. turned that Go get him, Denise. into twenty six hundred dollars. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I know how that feels. I did that. It's not really anything. From zero to twenty six hundred dollars for Dakota Odell. He moves up to one point eight million in chips. Boston Rob still the chip leader. Denise Pratt and Kulant Singh also in the mix. Final four at the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am second edition of this tournament. Rami Singh won the first one last year, beating Danielle Anderson heads up for the win. Love those logos. Yeah, so many stops across the country. Yeah. to a decent amount over the last year with those rings award and every stop they're like oh is hanks here he really doesn't leave the state of nevada not really sure yeah. if it's a legal it's thing been a while I th every state has a restraining order <laughs> right, against right. me i have to stay right here in nevada but if you do travel it will be to a run good stop it will and i i know i said it last year i never i just couldn't make it happen yeah. but it's i guy. really want to go this year to a stop somewhat nearby Saw Ben Irwin 
Thunder here Valley. Earlier, yeah. That's the one Director maybe for me. Director Operations there. It's close by. It's a beautiful spot. Great setup. Be nice if they could get a, an official stop right here in Las Vegas. Oh, that's true. I know we did have one final qualifier for a right. seat at the Aria right before this event took place. Both play this event last year. Did I? Did just I play it? I, didn't play I it believe long. just you played okay, it. You did commentary. And both I did day. commentary with Jim. Tuck. Tuck. Man, that's I what it was. Say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I did sidelines. So. One hundred thirty thousand. Odell gonna keep firing here. You remember me playing pretty well, of course, last time. I I don't really remember that part, okay. Jeff. But I, I mean, were I'm you sure dialed in? Yeah, it, pretty pretty locked in. I yeah. remember everyone being blacked out. It was yeah. a uh, it was a full on drinking event. <laughs> yes, last it year. was. Jen. Well, when D Moon is in the mix. Uh, D Moon. Shenanigans. Joe occur. Stapleton. Yeah. Veronica Brill. I mean, there was just Jamie Kerstetter. The the booze was just flowing. Good day for our bartenders here at the Poker 255. Road Two hundred fifty-five. Two hundred fifty-five thousand. Odell. Go fire, fire, fire. Well, we know Singh does not like to fold. Let's True. see if he gets off top here. extension used for an additional 30 seconds to act. Wow. And lays it down. The bluff gets through. Season. And Dakota from Springfield, Good. Missouri. Okay. Oh, queen. Oh, queen, queen. Massive mm. bluff. Collects those chips. Up to more than two million. Just Let's paid. send it down once more to Tyson Apostles huh? with Just Ashley. All right, I am here with Ashley Jenkins, our latest exit. Wasn't meant to be today, Ashley. I'm so sorry, but you had an impressive run. What do you have to say to all the Ashley Jenkins fans out there? You know this is televised worldwide. This is televised. I would just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, appreciate it. And, you know, I free rolled, so I couldn't hope for anything else. Just to make the final table was great and playing the. Poker Studio. Cool brag. Uh, <laughs> free, free roll. Free, free roll. What did the contest entail? Enter your name and email and just wait. It was a year. It was a long time. Tana just emailed me last week. It was it was a year long wait. I watched last year on uh, Poker Go and was like, okay, hey, that sounds fun, and I won. You were like, I could do this. I, I could probably make final table. No I problem. I could probably make final table. You coming back? I'll come back, yeah. If they want, if I'll play one of the series, and I'll just win a ring and qualify officially next year. Okay. Well, I, uh, I mean, I'll invite you on my behalf. Oh. But I don't have all the power. Okay. So I'll whisper in some ears. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Tyson. Back Thank to you, you, Jeff and Brent. Bye, guys. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Ashley. A pleasure having you here. Cool. I like that. So I'm, I'm going to go get one of those rings. I'm going to earn my spot here. Got to respect it, Jeff. Yeah. Ring hunting. You don't have a run good ring, do you? No. You have a uh, World Series of Poker circuit ring? I do, yes. I have one. Do you? I do have <laughs> yeah. one, yeah. Do you wear yours regularly? I do not. What do you do with it? I have it uh, currently on my little bar cart set up. Your what? Sing. That would have been a cool check raise. On my... Bar cart. Bar cart? Yeah. So the bottles of alcohol on the bottom floor. Yeah. And then the top floor, a couple trophies. Don't mean to brag. Broadcaster of the year. Uh, MSPT Venetian win. And the World Series of Poker. So you just get hammered 
from your bar and you yeah. like to look at your, yeah. your trophies My while accomplishments while drunk you put the ring on while you're uh it's not about me it's rob married amber off survivor as you saw on that lovely lower third graphic i'm just trying I just to reminisce your, you know uh, i pour myself a glass of tequila and yeah. kind of swirl it around all oh yeah i remember when i won that oh i remember when i won that right. what an honor yeah have a sip then just repeat the process. 75. Huh. Is that weird? Totally normal. Who doesn't love to get hammered and just look at their own trophies and right. reflect? That's what I'm um, saying. You raised $200,000. I don't know, chat. What do you guys think about that setup that Jeff has for all of his I love it. awards? Don't you have a global poker award as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's up Is there. that up there? Yeah, of course. Also hosted the Cobalt Poker Awards. You have a lot of awards. Yeah. I think one of them. One award, one trophy, one ring. 36 years old. <laughs> Collected everything. Yeah. What else really is there, you know? You're like a bargain shopper. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's read a promo. Oh, coming to Poker Go in January is the prestigious Poker Go Cup. Watch live final tables January 12th through the 20th as some of poker's best tournament players kick off the PGT season. This incredible series of high stakes events. Save $20 off the annual subscription price with the promo code RUNGOOD23. Join or upgrade now. You want to be there. Jeremy Austin is the cup champion. Daniel Negreanu, a cup champion. Nick Shulman. Well, he's Nick Shulman, so I just want to watch. Kurt Steven in the chat. Hanks, what are the final four payouts? I don't know. 85. <laughs> no idea, man. 000. I know it's like 8,900 up top, 6,500 for second. Jeff, do you have third and fourth? I do. Do you want to guess? Or? I'm good. Okay. Third is 42.25. Fourth is 32.50. So about a 1K difference between fourth and third. There you go. That's for you, Kurt Steven. Thank you for joining us in the chat. Make sure you like. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Talking to you, Kurt. Kurt Stevens says WSOP circuit rings aren't real gold. Liar. Oh, they're not. Now he lies. You're calling Kurt Steven a liar in the chat. Yep. How do you know that they are real gold? Have you seen mine? Have you taken it to yeah, a, uh -huh. someone to appraise it? Yeah, they say it's worth about, I think he said $126,000. Excuse me? Hmm? I'm, I, mine's up for sale. <laughs> I, I'll, yeah. I'll take Maybe half Maybe it was that. just mine that was custom. Sorry. It says, haha, they're not real gold. Uh, speak for yourself. It's just your opinion, man, right? Isn't that what you say? Right. It's just like your opinion, man. Shout out, Big Lebowski. Greatest film of all time. The dude, the Jesus, Donnie, Walter. When's the last time you saw it? I haven't seen Big Lebowski. I bet I've years. seen it within the last two months. Oh. Every time it's on, I'll put yeah, it on. Yeah. Sometimes late at night, I'll just turn it on. I also Table love a nice white Russian. Like yeah. Not to get political or anything, but uh, it's <laughs> no, a fantastic okay. beverage. Yeah. Dana says the dude abides. Mm. That's right, Dana. We apologize for the noise coming from the final table. We'll tell our players to keep it down. Been a rowdy bunch. A very, 
kind of chatty. What is your uh, your favorite film? If we've been over this before, I don't think we have. I don't know. Um, oh, it's either. Always nice. This ought to be good. It's either Rush Hour <laughs> One or Rush Hour Two. Is that is yeah. that a real answer? Yeah. 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 Of course. Rush Hour <laughs> One or yeah. Two? Yeah. Ru My oh. favorite movie? Yeah. Rush and Hour. Yeah. Is one that, or two. Is I'm that with uh, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan. Yeah. Rush Hour. Yeah. My God. Absolute classic. As Joseph in the chat says, Rush Hour 4 coming soon, indeed. Rush Hour 3, we don't talk about, though. What was wrong with 3? It's kind of like, you know, Rocky 5, you just don't really mention it. Just wasn't great. I didn't think it was possible for someone to name Rush Hour as their favorite movie. <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, no, you didn't ask me what I think the best movie of all time is. You said, what's your favorite? Well, I think that The Big Lebowski is the best and it's my oh, favorite. Oh, wow. Okay, the double whammy. Well, yeah. So what is the best movie mm. of all time? Oh. Probably The, the Godfather. Oh, okay. Maybe even so the you're Godfather getting all Part artsy in that. No, yeah. not really. I, I actually I enjoyed those. I can respect that. I mean, yeah. the Godfather is an all-time classic. But it might be the best. Speaking of the Godfather, they can't see this, of course, at <laughs> yeah, home. But right. <laughs> very own Hall of Famer and Poker Go president Maury Escandani has just wandered into the commentator's booth to give us lashings. <laughs> when we need the booth cam. Yeah. It was Brent. It wasn't me. Whatever it is, it was definitely Brent. How oh nervous are you right now, Jeff? Yeah. Well, I know Maury's always watching, so just because he's here in the building, that's doesn't, fair. Doesn't they were change playing the at Resort World and uh, Ladies Tournament. They are, they were on break. Oh my God, it was so noisy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> at the break time and uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Sink well, short nice stack. Cool ones, yeah. Fourteen just, bigs. And just taking <laughs> shots at women for being. Energetic? We'll, we'll just, you know, kind of. I don't want. I don't want to say let it slide, but no. let's let's not Kay. talk about that. Right. We will talk Maybe about careful. how well ladies' events have done over this last week, both at Resorts World and the Win. Denise Pratt, a great advocate for women in poker, represents the game very well. It's been a monumental week for women in poker. The induction for the women. Poker Hall of Fame, Vanessa Selbst. Jennifer Tilly, one of our favorites. Jennifer Tilly, Angelica Hal. Terry Smith as well. Terry Smith, yeah, an all-time legend. Terry, Terry King. King. Terry King, sorry. Oh, you got the ace, Terry. Yeah. Did you say Smith? Why would you screw <laughs> me up like that? I was really rolling. I think it's what did I say earlier in the show? Thank God Maury walked Let's in. Call her. That's why he came in here. He knew you were about to botch <laughs> that and then derail me. I went to the Women in Poker Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Don't mean to brag, but my friend, Maria Ho, invited me. Friends with Maria, not a big deal. Yeah. I wish I was there. It I was watched here it, at actually, the, the studio. Yeah, yeah, you watched it. Wonderful. I thought the whole thing was just Adam Pliska talking. I had to see if there was anything else involved with the show. So you like Resorts World? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Norman Chad was the yet. first person oh, I saw when I walked in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Tournament director is Cried the entire time. I was in tears. Okay. And yeah, Moved. I've been there twice, actually, two days in a row. But Aria Resort and Casino is the best. That's true. That <laughs> is true. There we go, Rob. <laughs> I almost didn't ask him that question because of that. I was like. <laughs> Wait, 80,000. Bumps it up with the ace queen suited. I'm all in. All in. All of it okay. from Cool Want with the fives. Oh. Boston Rob makes the call, and here we go. Cool Want seeing all in and at risk with the two fives against Mariano's <laughs> ace queen suited. Boston Rob's been running hot. On he these really has sizzling. <laughs> will the hot streak continue, or will Cool Want be back in the game with almost 30 bigs?
10 3 3 with Ooh, two clubs. Wow. A spicy flop, to say the least. That's you see flop. on your screen, it's still a flip. Ooh. Not a flip anymore. Ooh, Jack of clubs on the turn. Might as, as well make it the royal, Jeff. You know, if it's either <laughs> got to be a house or the royal on the river. Anything else is unacceptable. Yeah, it's not completely disqualified. Seeing just yet four outs. You see him on top of your screen, looking for a five or a three exactly. instead. It's another Jack. It's okay, a flush for Boston Rob, and okay, it's man. a fourth place finish for Kulwant cool Singh. Singh, great performance. All right. Good luck. Fought as hard as he could. Going to walk out of here with a little bit more than $3,000 to his name. And with that, we are down to three. He doesn't just leave with the cash. He leaves with a, a Tyson Apostle bust-out interview, which we'll get to in a it's couple It's my favorite minutes. part of the yeah. show thus far. Anytime we have a chance to talk with Tyson, let's see how awkward we can make this next <laughs> interview. How about Boston okay. Rob? Sure. Half the chips in play, 3.3 million. Dakota Odell, who entered the day as the chip leader in second place, about 2.3 million. And Denise Pratt, still in, still alive. Almost 900,000 in chips. Denise Pratt, the Mississippi queen. She has reached the podium, Been working hard on her game. Salt for Y Crew, Christian Soto, her coach, representing Salt for Y Proud here today. She won the studio ticket ring event at the Run Good Stop in Tunica just a couple months ago, and she's three betting here with fours. How about that? Denise is not afraid to put some chips in the middle. She's not, and, and an aggressive decision puts Odell. A pretty tough spot with King Queen off. Denise has not three bet really all day. This looks quite strong, especially now three handed. And this could get a little sticky. Let's see what. Denise decides to do. She is going to just take one off. Deuce of spades on the turn. We've seen Denise trap earlier taking this sort of line. Odell does not believe that's the case right now. Targeting some sort of middling pocket pair. Trying to apply a ton of pressure. And oh my hey, Look at goodness. this from Denise Pratt. Did she just rip it in there? Hey, Count. What a play. With just the fours. Well, we know the grandkids are at home watching right now. This is beautiful stuff by Granny Pratt. Making Mississippi proud. Bravo at the bluff. Nice hand. With the best hand, gets through. That's how Denise Pratt does it. Let's see how Tyson Apostle does it. He's standing by with Cool Aunt Singh. All right, we're here with our fourth place finisher, Kawant Singh. Great run today, Kawant. It wasn't meant to be, but thank you so much for coming out. How did you enjoy the event? Oh, I love it. I love it. And uh, really, nice group thank you yeah i love it too we hope to see more of you and uh, again great run and uh back to you jeff and brent all right thank you very much tyson short and sweet yeah, on that yeah. one. I, I, you know I, not that many questions on the list this I, time. I feel like we missed out a little bit there <laughs> from tyson can we keep him up there longer maybe have so. an automatic three questions that we need him to ask <laughs> can we send the you notes you can't give him a script though no, one script. Yeah, okay, but, but uh, you just you gotta do more. three. Yeah, okay. Do three, Tyson. Improv. It's a specialty, Jeff. No, that's true. Three players left. Does Tyson know, by the way, that we're not paying him today? That's not my department. 
might want to sort that the, out. This with is him free and his agent, work. You know? Yeah, it, it's a. Uh, that man gets on camera. He usually gets paid a lot of money, so maybe you should double check. Well, Tana is going to have to foot that. <laughs> okay, bill. I'm I, setting that one to run good. I didn't sign anything off on Tyson. I think he's just doing this on his own accord for the <laughs> love of the game. Value Town, Odell, the best hand at that. Unless Boston Rob has a trick up that hockey jersey sleeve, this hand is over. He's had a lot to say today, hasn't he, Jeff? <laughs> Boston <laughs> Rob. He's letting the eyes do all the talking, not so much the mouth. And the ring, and the chips. It is a big ring. Yeah. The size of that sucker. I'd hate to get in a bar fight yeah. with Boston Rob when he's wearing all the jewelry. It's going to leave a mark. mark. Yep. That's wow. Well played. That's, right. That's why we're the best. Or at, least, at least top, what, 12 to 14 poker broadcast teams. That we're, on, we're on those lists. D team for life. <laughs> when I did see Norman Chad at the Women in Poker Hall of Fame, <laughs> Norman, good to see you. Just, yeah. just not, no response. Not a thing, huh? <laughs> Now, was that due to a, a, a hearing? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Problem? Or he just did come up to me later. He said, I heard you were trying to say hi to me. I said, yeah. So he, <laughs> he heard from someone else <laughs> right. you were trying to say hello. <laughs> I'd like to get Norman involved with this next year in the pro -Am. Maybe he'll go out and play some of the events and try to win a rip. Great. People would love to see Norman. They don't, I don't think they offer mixed games, though, right? Because we know he can't play they no do, They do have a little bit of mix well, they do. on the, you can on the run good tour. No, not, usually not to qualify into this event, but to win a ring. Could play the horse event that they have. Oh. He would like that. The people oh. would like it. He'd donate to the prize pool. Boston Rob might be there. I promise he talks more on tour. He, when he's playing poker, he is just yeah. very focused. He has his eyes on the prize, trying to take this thing down. It was very similar for No Gamble, No Future, this last season that is out right now on Poker Go. You can check it out. And he was very committed to the craft. Three, you often assume that these larger-than-life TV personalities are always talking and, and engaging, not when they're necessarily playing poker. They take it very seriously. They say three rainbow. Well, that's an eight. Backdoor flush draw for Dakota. Austin Rob, a little taste, middle pair. Yes. Decides to come with the check raise Three. instead Three. of the check five. call. Aggressive maneuvering. He can oftentimes just shut it down right here. Unless Dakota. What is he thinking about, Jeff? Saying this doesn't make sense. Did you flat me with some sort of ace? Do you have two pair? Our hand is just over. Boston Rob extends his chip lead. So much pressure there by Boston Rob attacking Odell, who's well, second right. in chips, leveraging that chip lead. <coughs> now 53% of the chips in play. That sends our players off on a quick break. Before we go to break, let us take a look at the leaderboard for the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. It has Boston Rob's name on top. Plus 3.5 million in chips. Dakota Odell and Denise Pratt round out our final three. Who wins this thing, though? We're back in about 15. Let's send you off to some highlights. Stay with us. All right, let's get a feel for this Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. Ryan, come with me for a sec. Let's check in on this table. We'll call it Table 1. And Tyson Apostle somehow, someway has chips. How is that possible? Uh, dumb luck. 
I play once a year, yeah. whether I need to practice or not, you know? Sometimes, yeah, you have to. You have to play at least once every 12 months. And those chips will be gone in how long? I uh, have 15 minutes. See Johnny Vibes with the hundo in front of him? That's that, that's that YouTube money. Very, very rich. Daniel's there in the mix. Ashley, our giveaway winner. All right, let's, let's check in over here, Ryan. Who do we got? John Ortega's there. It's quiet. It's serious over here. Poker Go Ambassador, Boston Robin, a pretty big pot. He won't mind the commentary going on behind him at all. Sizable developments here. We thought we'd maybe come across a big pot. I'll work on my commentary skills. Queen Jack, five, two spades, and Rob is all in. Look what we've stumbled across. A lot of fun, a lot of laughter, a lot of excitement. The occasional serious moment, like we see right now, is this is a big pot developing. Players under the spotlight. Again, Rob all in on a queen jack five flop, gets the fold. You gonna show the seven deuce or no? No. <laughs> Pops and Rob over there as we check in over here. Forrest is here, Denise, one of our favorites, is here as well. Let's go across to the other side of the room. We'll run into Tana Karn. Tana, no surprise that he's drinking at the moment. You enjoying the cocktail? Absolutely. Uh, for some reason, the cocktails hit harder in the Pokego Studios, mm. and it's fantastic. It is fantastic indeed. Enjoy yourself at that bar over there. All right, Ryan, Willie, up there. Let's take a walk to the other side. Now, this, of course, is our feature table. This is where our final nine will end up, fighting for that championship fighting for that trophy for the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. Perhaps they will be champion number two of this Pro-Am following Rami's run. We'll check in with Rami in just a little bit. But first, I mean, we still have Santa Claus in the mix. Santa Claus with that no gamble, no future sticker. I mean, that's, that's perfect. We pushed it in a couple times. In a couple times. How you doing, Chips? You still giving away chips for uh, Christmas? Just above starting stack. Just above starting stack. Tortoise, what do you think about that? Not bad. Few people on the naughty list. All right, all right, Ryan. Let's jump back here. What th I mean, this this is unbelievable. I mean, not only is Daniel Wyman here, but somehow Josh R is just an absolute pot. I mean, when you play every hand, you're bound to win a couple pots, right? Should we look? Should we look? Here, let's look. Let's look. Oh baby, every hand. When Josh says "Oh baby," at least has three high. Fighting against the defending champion, Rami. I can really, I can tank really hard right here. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Ace of spades, king of spades, 10 of hearts. As Rami said, rebound is still available for the next three and a half minutes. I just, I, I'm gonna play really slow. I'm gonna play really slow to keep you from being able to re-enter. All right, I don't break much. Oh my God, that's a huge wager. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could use the whole. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. This is. I mean, this is fun. We're playing fun poker today. This looks fun. Heads up. We'll let them play with us at home. <sighs> That's not a good card for you. Three of spades on the turn. Everybody knows what these two cards are, except for you. Then I check. Sure. Let's see a card, Jeff. That card is the six of diamonds. 35,000 35, all at once. And you won this tournament last year. Let's see if he has a good hand. Let's see. Are you scared yet? Should I go more? 
Very good turn card. Rami flopped top two. Josh turned the flush, of course, because he always does. I apologize. No, no apologies. I apologize. Poker. And this is good hand. Free flop. Very good. Well, that gives you a good look at what this Run Good All Stars Pro Am is like. Who will be the next champion? Could still be Rami. Still has some chips. Rob laid me 10 to 1. If he laid me 10 to 1, I wouldn't have started. I mean, is he that stupid? 64 entries. Is he that? I mean, is. Come on. Come on. You see my skill level, right? I know. So much skill. Okay, all in. Levi's open all in. I don't do it enough. I really like being around there. She mentioned Jamie. Congratulations yeah. to Jamie Kersetter, everybody at the World Poker Tour and at the win for putting on a phenomenal event. And that he learned his lesson. ladies meetup game today. Stay in line. Alongside no. an excellent turnout at <laughs> the ladies championship this week. There's no jack three, so I have uh, Yeah, no yeah, 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 you thought you were <laughs> Had a chance to go over He's to the encore where the World Poker Tour is running a few times. Just stunning oh. what they have done. Exceptional oh, yeah. event I mean, they've they created. Feel like regular cards. cards. Yeah, 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 totally. It's kind of crazy. Man. Austin Rob getting frisky under the gun with the Ace Five offsuit. I don't think that PokerCoaching.com taught him to open this hand right now, Jeff. What about ChipLeader.com? That's what I meant. <laughs> Shout out PokerCoaching.com like, as even, well. Even Chance and Alex <laughs> wouldn't open here. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's that. saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hurting? You made me afraid. The Boston <laughs> Rob seeds thing. Yeah. Right? Getting a lot of folds at this table. Maybe a tighter table. Sings oh. <laughs> in there with sixes on you, Forrest. I'll try. I thought it mentally folded so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> You were pushing them up that line. Oh, yeah. Telepathic. Yeah, get them out of here. You don't play 10 deals like that. <laughs> How about Ashley getting in there with the Jack 10 offsuit, sizing a little small? Uncertain if this was intentional. Oh. I think maybe she was intending just the call here, Jeff. Ashley had chips in from the small blind and <laughs> gets through Rob's powerful open. <laughs> Sing not going anywhere with the sixes. Comes King nine nine. Got shot for Ashley. This looks like it's going to work out perfectly for Ashley Jenkins, our raffle giveaway qualifier. 40K, Singh makes the call. Oh, Singh is sticky. Yeah. Five on the turn. 260K in the pot. As you see on the left side of Ashley's name, she's 420K behind. Gonna fire here with the sixes. Ten thousand. And that'll you didn't actually afford it. Just in the four. I have to. He final table this <laughs> move to I Warriors event at the series. I will call. And I Brett, to your point, Ashley, that she missed clicks. If you're calling the flop, I'm, uh, sure. Uh, I'm sure you're. Rob uh, was open by under the gun, and uh, he's chip leader, you know. I'm surprised Rob's open. <laughs> 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 the trophy awaits our winner. Call, call, call me. 
Get his flesh the other Craig day. says, let's be real, the biggest reason there aren't more women in poker is us men. Too many awkward weirdos make it a difficult space. Call them out when you see it. The more people in poker, the better. All right, all right, I like it. Yeah, really hard to disagree there. Yeah. With uh, Craig. No question about Shout it. Shout out to everybody on YouTube, on Twitch, joining us. Oh, oh, we're in the chat. Me. We're in the Twitch stream. I don't know, probably yeah. made that up. <laughs> it actually <laughs> felt like it went by really Fine. fast. Yeah, it's yeah. Really so like, oh, level up. I was like, Wait, how long did it go by already? Yeah, one level. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Ten twenty now. Yeah. <coughs> Vladimir limps in with the king queen up about twenty five bigs. The lights do make it seem like the hands. Rob bumped it up to eighty k. And Vladimir with the limp jam. And Rob makes the call with the ace nine, and here we go. More than a milli in the middle. Vladimir Gretchnikov, the one all in and at risk. Gretchnikov, the winner of the Coconut Creek run good main. Jack Jack Deuce here. Ten on turn? Ten for this one. Ten? Oh, you're ace. At least he's honest. Followed by a ten. There the turn go. is an ace. Not might not want over no, it's yet. Yeah. It has to come. Vladimir looking for a 10. A <laughs> only a 10 to stay alive. And why they usually come on the river? River card is a five. That does it for Vladimir. All right, great game. Thank you. Class Act had a chance to catch up with him earlier. Enjoyed talking with him. Put up some solid results this year. Him again. Tournament, Tournament streets. Blind versus blind. Cooler of sorts when you get the king queen in there with the ace nine. Class all around yeah. from Vlad. Handshakes My big for big. the table. More than $200,000 in career nice earnings for Vlad. He's going to have 1300 more on top. That was awesome. That was awesome. And our newest sideline reporter, Tyson Apostle, is trapped <laughs> down the line. No, no, no jump though. <laughs> bust out for you. So now How about that? <laughs> this ought to be something. <laughs> Get to that in a minute. I can't believe I freaking moon raised. I didn't. I, I meant to grab another chip. <laughs> it worked. I mean, I mean I'm it did. I'm surprised. It I'm not lying. It's Boston Rob with more than a quarter of the chips in play. When it went out, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Rob called his shot, Jeff. He yeah. said he was going to take this thing yeah. down when he announced the shuffle up and deal yesterday on day one. Said y'all are playing for second. Are you okay? Put us on the blind, blind oh, the blinds are 20. Sorry. Didn't know we went up. Okay, you and me both. We are up to 10K, 20K, the 20K big blind ante. Mm -hmm. Rob has a pretty one in the small blind in the form of the 10 9 student. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me and Rob. He's survivor. Survivor. Survivor is locked in. King survivor. 5 4 flop. Yeah. That one's all Ashley. Doing here for Rob and Ashley Jenkins, receipt giveaway winner. Takes down that pot. Let's send it down to Tyson Apostle. All right, I'm here with Vladimir Gretchnikov, our first to bust from this final table on day two. Vladimir. How was the experience as a whole before we get into the painful stuff? It was awesome, man. I had a lot of fun. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. Had a really good time. Okay. And uh, what happened there in the last hand? Did you get it in good, bad, medium? Well, I had figured Rob would be raising a lot if I had just limped the small into his big. 
And he raised, and I had a marginal hand, and I just thought that it would be all right to shove there. I had the king-queen, he had the ace-nine, it was a fair fight. He won the hand. Okay, that happens sometimes, yeah. you know, and it's hard with the big stack there. Uh, what are your thoughts and feelings about the uh, Run Good series? How has that experience been? Oh, phenomenal. This is incredible. Hope to come to many more of these in the future. Well, I think you have an op open invitation. So thank you so much, Vladimir, and uh, best of luck. And if you could uh, send bad juju to one person at the table, who would it be? Oh, stop. Nobody. I love everybody. <laughs> here, here we go. Take care, man. All right, Tyson, thank you. You know, Tyson, just, you can watch the hands that go on so you don't have to ask if they got it in. I like it when he has. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're going to come here, see Tyson does a great job with these. You know what he reminds me of? Who's familiar that? with uh, Barstool Sports' Caleb Presley? Yes, yes. Sunday the conversation. Perfect comparison, especially yeah. with the hair now. Yeah. Great little setup. Yeah, so you can actually cook and yeah. Yeah, I'll cook, exactly. I'll leave my stuff here. Yeah. You have a, a, a nice yard, backyard. He has a nice backyard. I have a nice closet. Okay, my yeah, it opened so under the gun with the ASA. Do you get the master or does yes, he get the master? This, this is what I love. This house, this house actually had two houses. Oh, one nice. One on the bottom floor and one on the top floor. That's way twice. And then, the, so he has the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. We share the middle floor. And then the uh, top floor has a master bedroom, a oh. nice sitting area. Oh wow! Yeah, that'd be cool as well. It's a great setup. Sounds like a nice house. I believe Denise has a very nice house, from what I understand. I mean, it's three stories. Yeah. I actually found it. I think this is what we need to do. This is the one. Because especially because of the two master bedrooms, you want him to be comfortable too, and you don't yeah. always, you don't want other people all up in your bedroom and stuff. Yeah. That way, he can still have friends over. And it's kind of like a separation of space. Yeah, yeah, nice separation of space. Oh. Welcome everybody to the chat. It looks like we got Team Ortega in the house. Oh, there we go. And then he's actually really sweet. He made Welcome me a taco in to support casserole. their guy. Brazilian Market is he, here. He cooks some too. We love to go to the Black Bear Diner. It's, it's a lot of, you know, when it's just two of you, even me, it's just me and my husband. Now our children are, I have a 37 year old and a 35 year old. Mm -hmm. So the 37 year old has all the kids. So when they come, we cook at home. Yeah, it's cheaper to cook at home. When it's That's just it. me and him, we eat out ourselves. Well, he, and my husband cooks a lot too. He's yeah. a really good cook. It's nice to have. Depending nice on, like to his have pot a roast is amazing. Oh. His steaks are amazing. Oh. I can't have his biscuits anymore, but they <laughs> <laughs> Pot roast, That's steaks, a sign biscuits. Here in. Yeah. Keep talking, oh, please. I I I'm <laughs> salivating over here. <laughs> Lay it off the biscuits. Give me my card. <laughs> John, you going to be staring at me like that? Okay. I'm just oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 it's it's, it's coming. <laughs> Yes. It down. He is. I was, I was saying, uh, <laughs> your I know will come. he is, but that's your what I'm saying. Your turn <laughs> is coming, baby. <laughs> I just realized. For three, three players left at the Run Good All Stars Pro Am. Denise Pratt is here. Dakota Odell is here. Boston Rob is here. And most importantly, Brent Hanks is here. Oh, thank you, Jeff. That's uh, that was quite the very, lead, huh? very kind. And I think what you meant to say, players are here, we're here. And how about everybody in the chat? What's yes. going on out there? YouTube, Twitch, thank you so much for joining us. Take a look at the payouts there. You guys are the most important for sure. By the way, I looked at the Twitch. I, I'm pretty sure we're not there. That's what I meant. But YouTube, YouTube yeah. we are here uh -huh. and we can focus on you guys. With three players left, I'll guarantee more than forty-two hundred dollars. Second place, sixty-five hundred bucks. First place, almost nine k, and that trophy, and a little extra cash, Brent, for Boss and Rob, who had a side bet with Josh Ari. It must win. Rob mm. at the beginning of the tournament got twenty to one odds, and he has the chip lead, a significant one at that. They had left. to have bet at a minimum five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm thinking it's one k. Yeah. So add on twenty k to. To Rob, if he wins, it might be more. Those guys are sickos.
when I went to the Run Good Stop in Coconut Creek, Rob and Josh went to the sports car store to get everybody cards that we would all break later in the day. And so they bought six or seven thousand dollars worth of cards and they didn't wait for anybody to arrive. They just ripped them all open themselves and got crushed. They didn't find anything good? I know, they, they bricked out really good. Are you still dabbling with uh, sports cards, Jeff? No, no. There was no. a stretch there, there was where a you stretch. were really diving deep. There's a queen ball for Rob, but yeah. Still have some that I probably should have sold during peak market levels, but you Can know, the market long come term. back? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Long-term investment. You and I have a couple we shared, right? Oh, Any yeah. of them worth anything? Doubtful. <laughs> probably that Davis Mills card. Maybe yeah, that's not a so. probably our best bet for the future, but yeah. we're going to need the Texans to be a little better. You know, Tana, the uh, founder of yeah. Run Good behind this event right here that we're tuned into, he gave me a Josh Allen rookie right. card. Just gave one to you. Just gave it to me. Uh, it, it's the nicest card I own. He gave me a Luca rookie. A Luca rookie? He just gave me one. That's got to be worth yeah. thousands. No, I don't think it is, but it is still the gesture is very nice. The Josh Allen card is going to be worth six figures someday. Probably not. but Go down as the greatest quarterback in the history of the game. For that card to be worth six figures, he'd have to be the greatest quarterback in the history of the game by more than a mile. I think he'd have to win every Super Bowl from here until he retires. Which, which he is, I mean, uh, probably going to happen. <laughs> Meanwhile, Odell turning this Jack-10 into a bluff as the board runs out all hearts. But who cares about the ham? Let's talk more about Josh Allen, shall we, Jeff? Yeah, Dom B in the chat uh -huh. says, go Bills. There we go. See if Rob sniffs this one out. One line or two is straight. Clearly all the hearts on board. Seems like a perfect card to bluff. But doesn't it just look like Dakota has the goods? Big pot to kick off three-handed play. Can Rob find the call? This would be a massive call for Rob to make, critical. Given the separation between these two. Rob started the hand with 3.5, Odell with 1.8. You can see 1.1 already in the middle. Reaching. Making the call and a great call at that. I think, yeah, there it is. Yeah, rolls it over. Wasn't sure. Had to look at the board a little bit. Great call, Boston Rob. Bravo. Further separation now with that chip lead. 65% of the chips now in play. Good opportunity for us to take a look at the leaderboard. Right, that 65% works out to about 4.2 million in chips. It also means Denise Pratt has worked her way into second. Dakota Odell down to third. That was top shelf from the Survivor superstar, Boston Rob. Can he seal the deal? Will he punish Josh Arier? That 20 to 1 prop bet. Denise Pratt looking for the trophy. One of our favorite people. I caught up with her yesterday during day one of this very event. Take a look. No, you can do that again. You can I give me a hug you. again. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, Denise. Love y'all. <laughs> we love, love you too. Yeah. Denise qualified from Tunica, and she is here. She is inside the Poker Go studio. What's this Pro-Am like for you? I love it. I don't care. I just come for fun, and if I win, I win, and if I lose, I lose. I just have a good time. I get told to shut up, maybe. <laughs> I talk a lot. So I just love being here. What a fun event, you know? I love playing poker. I've already played the win, 10.4K. I did a satellite. I love playing poker. Love my family. Love y'all. What do you love the most about poker? 
I think it just teaches you a lot about life, you know. When you get a bad hand, why get all mad? Just be happy. Yeah. Fold the hand, move on, get over it. Most people don't like to move on and get over it. If, you, if you're not going to stay happy, don't play, you know. And I ought to get up and start ranting that. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, finally, Denise, tell us a little bit about that Run Good Stop in Mississippi. Well, that's my hometown, and it's a beautiful casino. It's one of the first casinos, I, the only casino I went to forever because uh, it's in my hometown, you know, home home state. Yeah. Maybe that's a, the home state. And they had the Run Good series, and I travel all over the world to play poker. And I thought, you know, let's go down and play at Tunica because I hadn't played there in a while. And what a fun treat it was to play in the hometown. They treated me good. They had a good turnout. They always have a great turnout there. And, uh, you know, it was just a lot of fun. A lot of people played. It, you know, you um, can't get any better than that. Well, it's a treat for us to have you here. We love you. How we about love that? Too. Go crush yeah. it. Thanks, Denise. Have Appreciate a good time. the time. Take care. Bye. Denise, just the best. And yeah, she did enjoy that Junica stop, winning the studio ticket ring event for 10K. That got her here. So we have 32 qualifiers. Call. I remember when she won that a little while back, and she texted me at whatever hour of the night it was. <laughs> so excited, yeah. knowing she was going to be able to come to the Poker Go studio and play on this stream and uh oh in a little trouble here against Boston Rob. Oh my goodness. Boston Rob has flopped to seven kings. Aces in the gut shot and three to the royal for Denise. Raise five hundred. Oh boy. Rob's big bet is met with a snap raise to five hundred K. Oh here comes the acting from Boston Rob. All of it. Incoming. Oh. And a call, and here we go. Denise Pratt all in and at risk. With the ace 10 against Boston Rob's set of kings. For now, Denise looking for a queen. Find one on the turn. Oh. She can! Oh. The queen Woo. of clubs! A deuce. Four to the royal, though. What I mean. a card! Could just give it to her, and if you do, then. I'll make it quads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the river is a nine. Denise has doubled. Woo! Yes. Yes, sir. That's why we play the game right there. Boston Rob, a little shell shock. He's run so hot at this final table. Played great. Just got served up. A little Mississippi bad beat. Yahtzee. Let's go, Denise. 2.4 million now for Denise Pratt. Boston Rob still the chip leader with three million. He's fine. Okay. Thank you. Dakota now the short stack around 26 big blinds. And Rob still just focused, you dialed in, competitive. The day, are you, Mike? Maybe angry. <laughs> I know you're not. Come on. Don't be Rob. mad at Granny. Come on. <laughs> what did he say? What did you say? My name is Rob. Oh, Rob. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> Shit, I can't. I'm so excited. I don't even know my own damn name right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you on the inside. Sir? I'm happy for you on the inside. Thank it's you. How much do I need to give you? Uh, <laughs> Denise said. Don't be mad at me. You aren't going to be mad at me for the rest of the day, are you, Can't Mike? Be mad at <laughs> Mike now in the big blind. <laughs> Would you 
Let's do two clums. You ever had a Mississippi pot roast? I don't believe so. It's fantastic. It's a good it's stuff. A certain kind of, yeah. You know, I lived in Mississippi for a couple of years. I did you, you really? Yeah, I did not know that. My first job out of college was in Jackson, Mississippi. Wow. Great people. Really like nicest. They're all like, everybody's like Denise. Sounds like I would love Mississippi. The pot roast is you fantastic. Would. Yeah, yeah. No, you've mentioned that kind. a couple times by now. So, uh, Just in the last 10 seconds. You put some pepper, pepper chinis in there. I played my hand. A little ranch seasoning <laughs> mix. <laughs> Ooh. You can put some potato. I mean, yeah, it's a yeah, pot roast. Yeah, I would probably right? been pretty upset. You would have been pissed <laughs> if fantastic. I had played that bull. It's pretty fun. It would have been funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> You ever heard of the Mississippi hey, River? We, we've made it down to three. That's something <laughs> yes, that we really have heard about, right? I know. Nice. I'm so ridiculously happy I'm here. Yeah. Are y'all happy y'all are here? Absolutely. Here. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't matter what happens. We're all winners. <laughs> Good way to look at it, Denise. I'm sure Mike agrees. It's only a couple of thousand bucks. I mean, you know. But it's that trophy's massive, you know? Yeah, that trophy's the bomb diggity. I don't know how I'd get it on the airplane, so. Me? I'm going to lay it down. It would be funny if I played it, but. I've had some really good hands that would be funny, not good hands. I've had some funny hands. There you go, that's better. Chris, our excellent viewers. Yes, ma'am. They're too serious though. I think they might beat me up if I play them, start playing them. <laughs> Love the way Denise approaches the game. The life of a party, yeah. Denise Brown. She cashed in the main in 2019 for about $22,000. Finished fourth in a World Series of Poker circuit main in Milwaukee in 2017. That was her biggest career score. Let's get back to the Mississippi River. You yeah. said you're familiar with it. I, I am, yes. You ever, and? You ever traveled down the Mississippi? Traveled down the Mississippi? No, I haven't. You ever experienced the Mississippi River in any way, shape, or form? I don't believe so. Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn okay. spent a lot of time yes, they did. on the Mississippi, Jeff. That's true. Are you building towards something here? Or Very large river. Yeah, no, it's it's sizable. Lengthy. I think Runs lengthy. all across the United yeah. States, north to south. Some if you're beautiful, not familiar with it. Some beautiful spots on the Mississippi River. Some not so beautiful. You ever been on a uh, casino Mississippi River boat? No, but I did go on the Run Good Poker Series cruise. Like it. It's also trying. part Not of the Not on the Mississippi, cruise. though? It, the cruise wasn't on the Mississippi, no. It was, it was in international waters. I got crushed on the cruise. No, cruise, I had two min caches. I get crushed on all the Run Good stops, really. Thunder Valley, I might have lost a lot. Played well, though. Sure you did. I'd like to take a little... Journey down the Mississippi, the Mississippi, if you'll join yep. me. <laughs> I'd have to think That's of the my amount kind of, of trip money right there. <laughs> so Dell turns the flush draw. Oh, Dana says I've been on the Mississippi River in St. Louis. Got to visit the top of the arc. How about that? JD says he lives about it less than a mile nice. away. Next, next hand, we'll, you'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Nice hand. Thanks. Hawk Hanks. Nice bet. Wisco Baron. Yeah, I'd, I'd be fine with that nickname. Jeff Sawyer yeah. and Huck Hanks. Yeah. Down the Mississippi we go. Hmm. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. I'm pretty busy, so I'm not sure I can What's fit in a name trip. Dakota. Dakota. Okay, that's right. Okay. And your name? I'm Denise. Denise. Yeah. I've definitely seen you before. That's Rob, not Mike. Don't call him <laughs> yeah, Mike, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. And don't suck out on them, okay? <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. That's my brother's name, Mike. I try not to suck out What was out that, Rob? Rob, I promise. I try. I thought he said something. Did I he think he something? said his brother's name is Mike. Oh, nice. Dynamite drop in, Rob? Let 
let it go, let it go. I don't want to let it go, but I just let it go, let it go. No, yes, yes. Dana, he must not like his brother. Yeah, true. That was very soft spoken. You don't know what you got down there. What are you looking at it again for? <laughs> I never. Can y'all explain to me why people look at their cards when it's everybody's folded? I never look at them, but I notice more people look at them than don't when everybody's folded. Uh huh. Why'd you look at them again? I'm just curious. Just to see. Just remember what I had in that spot. Remember what you had yeah. in that spot. Yeah. I guess I could always watch it back. You see, I'm old as dirt, and. You know, once I like to fall, remember hands. You do? Yeah. Do you really bit. think? I mean, I'm not trying to be a smart aleck. I'm no, no, asking I hear you. sincerely. 100? Yeah, I'm kind of with Denise. I've never understood the look back before you muck. Like when you win the pot, and then why do you take another glance? I think you do it for that exact reaction you're instantly oh. in someone else's head that's true like oh this must have been a bluff and then they're they're watching yeah. you look back thinking oh wow okay. did i just get bluffed or was it the nuts i've done that before yeah back when i used to play 10 years yeah, ago Yeah, you retired ways back i might play a lot more this year i'm sure you've heard that well, one before no probably not probably the world series will bring you back out of retirement i'll play at the right? world series yeah suffer through torture for eight to ten events yeah and be on your way yep We'll get in a good main event interview with you. Should be great. Maybe early day two. I'll dress up S for it. Schedule it early. Yeah. Denise will be there at the main. Her favorite poker hand, the ace jack. Ace jack. That's a, that's a trouble hand, Jeff. Mm. Talk to Denise. I'd ask you what your favorite hand was, but I am pretty positive it's a couple ducks. Yeah, we all know the answer to that. It is the Mallards, greatest hand in poker. A lot of people will tell you the same. Nope. I, I folded pocket deuces pre-flop quite often over the last deep? couple weeks. Deep? Like, were you deep stack and you still just throw them in the muck? Because um, that can't be good. No, but uh, there was one where I was deep stacked in, uh, in an early position and just looked at deuce deuce. I smiled to the camera. I wasn't watching, but sometimes I just imagine there's a camera there <laughs> and just flung it into the muck. Not a good fold. It's a very good fold. Would you have folded threes and fours as well? Probably. How about fives? No. That's your o that right there. Fives. We've narrowed fives it down. We're six ranging six. you at <laughs> fives plus. Went super deep early. On 100 the bigs deep. You know you can limp. I mean, I do kind of want to follow Daniel Negreanu and what he does after his recent results. And he's cruising along at the WPT World Championship. There are no rules against limping You're those right. sorts of hands. You're right. As Negreanu says, limping is pimping. Seven Nelly <laughs> at the WPT World Championship. It'd be nice if we had a little piece of Negrano yeah. in the big main. You know he's going to win the damn yeah. thing. Unfortunately, he's too rich to offer us pieces. Same hand. I think some change for you, please. Look at the 
leaderboard. Uh, it's the Boston Rob still has that chip lead. Almost half the chips in play. Denise Pratt coming on strong. About 2.4 million. Dakota Odell is in third. Our shortest stack, but not really a short stack. Still more than 20 picks. Plenty of room to navigate these three-handed waters. on the table look at the chip denominations blue chips 5k purple chips 25,000 each those yellow bumblebees are worth 1k a piece Yeah, let's and see Rob, what Rob does yeah, with these fives. With fives and Odell's stack size. Right, Odell only has City. 23 bigs to start the hand. Fives do not play great post. It's either going to be all in or I guess just call the ups tough for to, the ladder. Tough to navigate with fives out of the really position. is. You're always guessing, but he flops a lot of sets. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't hear on the ace nine three flop. Orthodox lead. I, uh, do not try this at home. It's just kind of making a, a really tricky situation. As the really the only hands that you fold out, you already beat. Odell just raise here to 220k. This is really interesting by Odell. Uh, seemingly yeah. looking to play for it all, hoping he's targeting some sort of nine or a, a worse ace. I have to imagine if he were to move it in as Rob does fold. So, Brent, I'm trying to think of, like, what would be a good uh, program to promote next. Well, if I were going to subscribe to Poker Go right yeah. now and I wasn't already, I'd want something new, something fresh, perhaps the hottest show in poker. Oh, and there it is. Ah. It's No Gamble, No Future, and still a couple episodes left this season. We will release those episodes on Tuesday night. What a blast No Gamble, No Future has been. Spoiler alert, we did just shoot a season two. Just saying. Yeah, season two is going to roll out, I think, as early as February. We've wow. got high stakes poker expected to arrive and be ready for season 10 in January. So two brand new seasons of both high stakes poker and no gamble, no future. At the start of 2023. Oh my goodness. 10, 9, 7 with two diamonds. Boston Rob the open ender. I will Odell say. down with the flush draw. Denise the gutter. I missed right. I thought Boston oh. Rob had ace eight of diamonds and that the money could be going in. Instead, checks around another nine on the turn. Dana, I have so many episodes to watch of No Gamble, No Future. Just renewed my subscription a week or so ago. There you go. Thank you very much. You'll enjoy it. Settle yeah, in over the trip. holidays, sit down with the fam, and watch a bunch of No Gamble, No Future. Nothing. That's what I might do. Goes better with No Gamble, No Future than a warm cup of eggnog. Mm. You ever have eggnog? Ever? That's yeah. warmed up? Uh, yeah, I think so. You ever put anything in the eggnog that mm. might be a little uh, spicy? Like hot sauce? Uh, like a spiced rum? Mm. No. Oh. 
flicking Bollock says, can you get interesting players? I'm not sure if you're talking about no game no future or our podium here at the final table. But if you are talking about the final table and you don't find them interesting, I am sorry. We, we cannot replace them. This is a tournament. And that's not how things work. Dell go for it again here. Never fun to check back, six high. All in. All in. And he goes for it. That's got to feel good if you're Dakota Odell. And gets the bluff through Odell having his way right now with Boston Rob. Now up to 1.5 million, nearly 40 big blinds in his stack. Making things very interesting is Odell. You getting a little worried time-wise? I'm hoping that maybe the Buffalo Bills organization will put the game on hold until I'm ready. They're probably watching this, right? Uh, just make sure that old Buffalo Hanks is locked, able stocked. to be there on his couch on time. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm, I'm very nervous. If we could just make these levels five minutes, mm. that would help. For Denise, as Odell leads. How much? 65. Don't usually hear sirens in the background. Well, Jeff, you know, uh, maybe the windows are open yeah. in the studio. Could be Out someone's phone. Of all the broadcasts phone. we've done, <laughs> that seemed. Like a cell phone ring. Do you have any oh. ringtones for yeah. anyone specifically? No. no. I don't. Something that's don't unique know. to no. whoever may be trying to reach you? I do not. You? No, but I think it's actually, that, that might be a good move. Why? Well, if your mother's calling, there's a unique sound there, right. you know it's probably, you either but do you or you don't want to pick it up. You look down at your phone and see that she's calling anyway. But you want to hear it, Jeff. I mean, what if I, you know, what if the phone's, phone's in my pocket? far away, in your pocket. I mean, you could just take it out of your pocket. I wouldn't know it's ringing unless I had that special alert. Mm. Anyway, look at the payouts. Four thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars guaranteed to our final three. About twenty-three hundred dollars separates third and second, and up top, it's almost eight thousand eight hundred dollars. You haven't told me about what you're doing this evening. No, I have not. What's on the agenda? <laughs> I mean, I'll probably go out with the Run Good crew that's here. Uh-oh. Tana and company. What does that usually entail? Well, it entails... You would have liked it last night because it entailed Javier's. Love Javier's. It was very late oh. in the evening, which you would not have liked. So you did the WPT broadcast. Yeah. Then you came back here Yes. for a little night of... For a little nightcap. Uh huh. How did the nightcap go? It went well. You guys didn't gamble, did you? Not Tana and company. No, they would. They would never dare. Not on the Rungus Poker series. I didn't see any Buffalo jackpots. One hundred. Tana's been on a heater. I think he's up about a half a million all the tour stops on those Buffalo jackpots. The we haven't seen the money that goes in, just the money. Right. Comes the tour out. stops have treated them well. I'm not quite sure the same can be said for the Pro-Am stop. 
Oh, is he getting lit up? Might, here in Las it might have given a little of it back. At the Aria, I mean, I don't know if anybody wins at the Aria. At Aria, not the Aria. Aria Resort. It's seen a lovely property. Anyway, 9-5 juice, two hearts. That's a great message to put out there. It really <laughs> is. Top fair for Boston Rob. Plenty of winners here, including Tana and myself yesterday. Looks like we got a little fight going on on YouTube here, uh, Dana and... Flipping bollocks. Oh, I hope Dana wins. I believe flicking bollocks is being quite rude. I'm going to go ahead Just and lay down the hammer. We're going to put him right in time. Oh, timeout's yeah. fine. Yeah. Right to the timeout bin you go. Like a technical foul. Bollocks. Yeah. You'll come back. You'll have an opportunity to One return. Chance. If you don't get your act Tight together, or, uh, you're going to get the ejection. Yeah. A little Dikembe. Value here. And Denise will call quickly and Rob will get paid off. Thank you. This is a thank you pay. That'll do it. You heard the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell in the background. He says, let's raise the blinds. You know, Brent said we want five minute levels. Let's give it to him. All right. Okay, Shoot maybe he didn't say that. But he did say 25K, 50K. 30 minute levels here at the Run Good All Stars Pro Am. Just joining us, Boston Rob is a side bet with former WSOP Player of the Year, Josh Are, a must-win side bet. Got 20 to 1 odds at the beginning of this tournament. And it has the chip lead with three left. Play slow. Two hundred. Denise with Jax makes it 200K. Right after Boston Rob ran and said, play slow. <laughs> So do you think we wait for him to come back or? I have a feeling they're just gonna <laughs> power through this. It sounds like there's, well, it doesn't sound like anything because nothing's being said. So I think we just play on. <laughs> gotta go, you gotta go. There comes the Anthes and blind. Yeah, he's in there. Big blind has been pulled. Yep. Dealer is shuffling and <laughs> Boston Rob is going to miss this hand. Well, he'll be thrilled when he comes back. I think he'll be very happy with <laughs> the fact that they've started without. There, there he is. is good hustle, yeah. but not good enough. Maybe Dakota still on. No. Thank you. Yeah, the cards oh, are there. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Some special exceptions. Don't the tell them that they, they didn't even attempt to wait. <laughs> Dakota makes it 115K on the button. Well, if he loses this pot, he may have wanted to stay in the, the restroom <laughs> a little longer. Queen, queen, four, two clubs. Good. Good size bets. Boston Rob, a couple back door draws. Get a little fancy. Dakota head bet. Dakota checks back. Six on the turn. Maybe a little sprinkle from Dakota. No, knuckles back once more to the river. Boston Rob showing no interest here. Dakota fine was showing down ace high, which will win this pot. We have a couple guests in our broadcast booth and normally I'd feel bad because like they don't have headsets so they can't hear the action going on. Don't worry, nobody's saying anything. Not a word being table. spoken yeah. up there. Yeah, it's just <laughs> right. the two of us. <laughs> You're getting a real feel for everything going on on this broadcast. Not missing much. As long as you pull up the yeah. YouTube chat on your phone, you're good to go. 
And I'm putting most of them in timeout. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Being very naughty on the YouTube channel. So we do thank you all for joining us on our YouTube channel. I just noticed, by the way, that Dakota is wearing a bar stool yeah. sports sweatshirt. How did I miss that this entire and time? And the poker go patch, but you probably right. saw that. It's like my two favorite brands yeah. combined. But that can't make you like him more than Denise, right? I'm I mean, not we love Dakota. That I don't have an Rob. allegiance, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, really. Towards I love them all equally. If I had to pick one, I think Denise would be the better champion amongst the three. No shots fired, of course. Yeah, of course. No offense, but. Really a swing and a miss for all involved. Turn brings the three of spades. Good looking bet there. <laughs> a little Throws short. 10,000. <laughs> uh, 40,000 short of the minimum. With nothing but eight high. Let's see if Denise looks. No, quick fall. 10K would have did it. Austin Rob's last tournament cash was a win. That win granted him that ring on his finger. So when the ambassador bounty event in Cleveland. Wouldn't that be remarkable? You go back to back, wins. Not just yeah. cashes, but wins. The biggest cash of Boston Rob's career, his very first cash, came in May of 2006 at a tournament in San Jose, Costa Rica. Finished six for 50K. You know who won that tournament? Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, no, I don't know. Josh Arie. Josh Arie. For and this was Costa K. Rica. Yeah, the Calvin Air Wild Card Poker. Were Cup they thing. down there together? Yes. David Williams finished in second. Oh. Arie and Williams played this. Negreanu finished fourth. <coughs> and those are all Rob's closest poker friends. Yeah. So maybe this they is how the whole and, yeah, it's how it all began. All the relationships started. <laughs> I wish these guys would shut up. <laughs> it's getting a little obnoxious, isn't it? Just too much table talk, you know. It's not good mm. for anybody, Jeff. It's like we're attending a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Who passed away? Probably some of our viewers. Dell has been very active on the buttons. It does Doyle block Rob here, block a deuce. How about Doyle who showed up at the win to announce shuffle up and deal? He did. I would have loved to have seen him play. Just didn't hop in there. How's our boy Daniel Negrano doing? Any update? Just won a big pot off ODB. Shoot him up to more than seven million in chips. Oh my gosh, making a real run at this thing. He's been all in and at risk. I think he told us twice total the whole tournament, despite being short stacked for the majority of it. I'm not sure I've seen anybody run better in the last two days than this Jean-Claude Moussa. Got it in Ace King against Aces, got there. And I, I believe today, earlier, at Aces versus Kings for all of it. Jean-Claude Moussa has been around quite some time. Also, by the way, from the Boston yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. Played a ton of poker back in the day. I thought a limit specialist, but I could, could be, be wrong could there. Be. 
Another deuce for Dakota O'Dell. And Rob does have the King of Hearts in his hand. Keep him tight. Which might be a pretty enticing one to fire big with. Rob goes half pot. Or maybe it's better check raise, I don't know. Lead here, I just think you get called by a better and worse fold for this sizing. But if you check and he bets then with the king of hearts in your hand, you can make some magic happen. Instead, the lead for 225k, the raise to 620. Dakota to seek out some value here. I believe they exchanged some words with each other. I think it was a good hand and a thanks. Okay. Yeah. Chris, is this on a half hour delay okay. for whole card showing? I think we're at a little more than a half hour delay, about 45 minutes or so. series with stops all over the country from San Diego to Coconut Creek in Florida, their home base in Tulsa. Tana and Haley and company have done a spectacular job running an extremely successful series. Global Poker Award winner for best mid-major series. Rob has kings in the small blind to 125k and we really have a three horse race cool. at this point. Cool. Five deuce, deuce, two hearts. Odell is the queen of hearts. Leads Denise Goss. Check on the river means Denise has made a straight. And she confirms there by the glance back down at her cards. Tries Denise raises hand over. Denise at about two million in chips, about forty bigs.
second edition of the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. The first one won by Rami Singh. Daniel Anderson heads up. Squeezes a couple tens. Yeah, that look, didn't he? Like yeah. maybe he was about to just pile it. Good fold by Odell. For the 26 big blinds, Boston Rob. Ship leader, 3.1 million. You could see the Mississippi Queen, Denise Pratt. Two million right in the middle. dealing for us today. Paul and Candace running the show at the Poker Go studio. Producer Pat Mack, director George Maxwell. Well, I don't want to flip it over either, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, I didn't get wow. to, I didn't get to the cough button. Wow, inside. Jeff, that was uh, <laughs> it's very unprofessional, and I apologize what, for that. What, uh, <laughs> what was that it's all just, about? Well, I'm drinking this monster, and it's just Attacked had a sip, mouth, and huh? just it it hit hit me in the wrong spot, and I panicked and just had to cough. Sincerely apologize, and it'll never happen again. It's Odell turns a five. Wow. Why don't you have another sip? Mm, Just not at the moment. Wash away the cough. You know, I noticed that the chip leader patch yeah. Matches the jersey yeah, quite well. It does. Well. It really does. It all blends well. Hard to figure out what city he's from. Boston. From Boston. What makes you say that? Well, the Bruins jersey, the Red Sox hat, the nickname. Do you think he's ever met Tom Brady? Probably. Good buddies? I don't know about that. He's going to the Patriots game, Patriots uh, Raiders. When he talked about I that, I he's got, I believe his whole, or no, he's going to go to the game here, and then he, after the new year, around the new year, his whole family, they're going to be seated in a box at a Patriots game oh, in wow. Boston. Yeah. The holiday season in the Poker Go shop yeah. is the best place to find the perfect gift for the poker player in your life. That's shop right. the best poker apparel and more right now. Shop.pokergo.com. You, you can get them some no gamble, no future swag as well. I know we're getting 
quite make this promo, but it's there. Tis the season Sounds to out. do some Poker yeah. Go shopping. But that song that that was rejuvenated nice me a little bit. Wintry jingle. Thought I was also passing away <laughs> in this chair, but now all of a sudden I have life. Denise still min raises out of the small blind with the ace eight. Gives Boston Rob room to enter from the big. Well, I know he played blackjack one. all night, but mm. eight three. I've seen the man play some blackjack. Not the sort of hand you want to play in poker. <laughs> Oh, I'm on, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Lost track of where I was. Sorry. Sorry. I've done the same today, Denise. I've done the same. <laughs> Alex, maybe a needle in the chat. Well, I should get ready to go watch the Bills game. Oh, Alex. Please do, man. No spoilers, though. Actually, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to find a way there to watch. How do I watch this on my uh, laptop? Must be a way. I'm sure there is. It's 105. It's 105 total. Okay. Did you bet the games today, Jeff? Uh, yes. You on Buffalo? Uh, yes. That a boy. Yes. Minus seven and a half. Seven and a half. I thought it was seven. And even money. Oh, you took the even, Steven. Well, that's what was offered. I did that versus like minus seven, minus one twenty-five or something. Wow! So all the money must have come in on Buffalo. Yeah, it was I think seven so. all week. And it didn't it start at six. The very beginning. I don't know. I don't know. Two is not very good when it's cold. I think I saw a stat right, that he's right, two right. and six when the weather is sixty degrees or chillier. And it's a little colder than 60 right now in Buffalo. I think it's about 10 degrees by kickoff time, maybe 15. Snow. A little icy for Odell here. Straight versus okay. higher straight. Nine. Have a straight. Both players have a straight. Denise with the okay. goods. Bravo to one of our colleagues, Lynn Gill Martin for finishing in 91st in the WPT World Championship for a little bit more than 36K. What a run at it. What a One run. Of our favorites. What a run. I was too. <laughs> 3,000 players in that event. She finishes top Probably 100. Probably should have been the river, but I was like, mm. yeah. it's got a lot safe of road. She busted me on the day 1A, no surprise yeah, to anybody that's here. What I was Did you get it in good? No. A little bit at least. She had me pretty crushed. Pre-flop? No, on the turn. I had a pair. Pairs are hard to make. She had, she, she had pocket flops. You want me to give you a hand history, man? We can spend some time going through it. I'm sure the viewers would love it. I don't know what's worse. The Between. hand histories or well, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Kings for both here. Dell's king is best. Boston Rob picks up a gutter. This probably gets Rob in a ton of trouble adding that gut shot equity. He has no reason to fear that his king is behind, but in very bad shape as we can see. Dead to a three or a five.
And that card, still trouble for Rob. You may think that he's up against clubs, and if he were to bet, what hand could call? He's just going to show it down. A wise showdown. King three. Sees the bad news. Critical pot for Odell, who is now up to, I believe, by our count, 2.1 million. Excuse me, 1.7 million. The stacks are starting to even out. Mm -hmm. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. And a very good hand for Boston Rob. Nice three bet. Don't think Denise continues. Who are we rooting for in the chat? Is it Denise Pratt, Boston Rob, or Dakota Odell? Let us know. Jeff, you and I are not allowed to pick. Okay, fair. We'll, have your teeth we'll just tabulate the results. <laughs> You're doing a good job. That's pretty good. Wait till it gets heads up. Then I really get confused on who's... Who's first, I thought Totally agree with uh, Timothy Barker. Way too loud at this table. <laughs> Hard to get a word in. And I think Wisco Barron's spot on too. Hanks is rooting for a rapid blind escalation. That would help. Have you tried talking to, to Paul Campbell? I wouldn't be surprised if Paul Campbell already left. Some love in the chat for Denise. Mary from Evan, from Catherine. What are you all up to in the chat while you're watching this stream? What's going on with you? How's your weekend? Any night? Any fun activities planned? Well, Jeff, if you're asking me, uh, I've got a Bills game today Pretty to sure get I know to. What you're up to later. Gonna need this to. Speed up a little bit. <laughs> well, the and it's set uh, a rapid pace. Yeah. My father-in-law is in town. Just arrived from great state of Indiana. So he'll be here for about a month. Spending time. Uh, how long? Uh, probably a month. Wow. I think. Yeah, quite some time through the new year. My kids are on the holiday vacation for the next couple of weeks. So it's a packed house. Very packed house, very loud house, but a fun house, Jeff. Yeah, very fun. It's the holidays. Happy holidays to everybody tuning in. Are you headed home at all to the uh, Dallas? Got a couple days at home, a couple days in Cabo. Cabo? Cabo. What are you doing the down there? Not much. Is this the annual plat trip to Cabo yeah, right Platt around family, the holidays? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever want to bring me along and just... You know, I, I was going. I was just going to ask what you said with your father-in-law in, law in town and yeah. everything. I figured you guys would be too busy. 
I wouldn't be able to go anyway. Yet, right. Well, no, that's, a, what, that's what I'm saying. Do you need a passport for Cabo? Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's a different country. And they don't let me leave the state, so I, I know I can't leave the country. Could, could probably get a passport. I'm on what's known as a watch list. Yeah, that's not great. You going to do any fishing down so in Cabo? Maybe, yeah. Seriously, I'd like to see yeah. some pictures. Okay. I know you guys do that do from time to time. Do a little deep time. sea fishing, yeah. Man, you get in some battles, like with some marlins. I bet. Yeah. Mar oh, marlins. Yeah, you just, it's a war. Now, do you eat the fish? Yeah. Oh. Do you fillet them yourselves? Or do you pay the guy on the boat? Yourselves is like. Like you and your dad. Oh, do you well, I the fish? don't. And my dad doesn't either. But my dad is mo much more likely to than myself. Do you ever mount one of those marlins up on the wall? I have not, no. If you catch a whopper, would you consider mounting one in your house here in Vegas? No, I don't think so. But maybe I'd put the picture in like a nice frame or something. Now on this family vacation, do you ever mount anything else in Cabo? Well, no. Just fishing. On an unrelated note, I mean, occasionally I just scroll through the dating apps while in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Well, that is yet, completely yet unrelated. Yeah, oh, yeah, I wasn't even. Very unrelated note. Wasn't even uh, talking about. That, well, that's why I said unrelated. Dating, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't even sure you were allowed to do such a thing on a family vacation. Right. Have you ever introduced mom, dad, and sister to. Uh, to my date in Cabo? One of the Cabo nightlife? No. No, I have not. Fixtures? No. no. Do you all stay in the same hotel, resort? Or do you have a house? Well, very fortunate to have friends who have a house there that say, hey, do you guys want to stay at that house? I say, yes. And they say, cool. There you go. Now, have you brought one of your dates home to the house of no. your family friends? No. Does that seem a little rude? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Anything else about Cabo that you think we should know? You know, I might play some poker in Cabo. So I'm get in the online streets. Oh. On GG. I was thinking live. Uh, is there a casino uh, in Cabo? Uh, I don't think so. with top two wins. Oh, there is poker. I, I totally forgot we yeah. had a, I just thought we were on a pod. Uh, oh, yeah, this poker. Yeah, podcast. Going yeah. Well, speaking of poker, the Poker Go Cup kicks off the 2023 EGT season. You can check it out live on Poker Go from the 12th to the 20th. Who will join the list of winners that include Daniel Negreanu and Jeremy Osmus? I love the Poker Go Cup. All no limit holding tournaments, high stakes, high rollers, best in the world. Let's go. Well, if it's anything like the last two years, you and I cover every single yeah, Poker we're Go in Cup there. event. Is that your water? Would love to do that again. Although after today, they'll probably never have us <laughs> back. Yeah, yeah probably. Just tell them to bring a waitress, it's so not our fault. There's a water. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, toy Den, our guy Joseph surprised Jeff will fish. He doesn't play pickup basketball because he doesn't want to get hit in the face. Can you imagine when a marlin would do to you? That's a very good point. <laughs> that is a good point. point. You know what? I might say no on the fishing, come to think of it. 150. Raise 150. You ever caught a shark? No. I've never wow. like fished for sharks. Maybe you guys could do a little shark fishing. Um, Does that pique your interest? Do deuces pique your interest? Oh, the greatest hand in oh. poker. This is for me, Dakota. Thank you very much. Huey, Dewey, looking for Uncle Louie or Uncle Fooey. And King 9-7. Still the best hand. This is why <laughs> it is the best hand in poker. Three so the close there. This so close. Still the best hand. Two hundred. Never fold the best hand. 
Dakota. Just don't do it. Yeah, you know, a little glance over and saying, you know what I've got over here? A couple of mallards. Stephen O'Dell, Dakota's brother here in the chat. So let's go, you got this. There He's you go. hanging around, fighting the good fight. Three players left. Oh, I'm sorry, that's for the... O'Dell, is that Irish? I was trying to get it to you. See what Stephen said. Isn't it usually O oh, apostrophe yeah, anything is like Irish? Yeah. O'Shea. Talk to me, Stephen O'Dell. Tell us about your roots. Viciously loyal. Friend of Poker Go. Oh, sure. Sorry. How much money are they winning? Ask Victor Thanks. in the chat. At least $4,200. Oh, Rourke. Rourke, a legend of the Poker Go. Wow, Rourke's studio. got a little, uh, yeah. little bun up top. I Look haven't seen Rourke. Rourke in a long time. Rourke was with us in our Friday Night Poker Days, right? Yeah, he was, years ago. So other than Cabo, Jeff, oh, anything else I'm on sorry. the uh, on the calendar? <laughs> oh, that's great. Just, I'm so sorry. Just, yeah. That's wonderful. Just uh, another <laughs> cough sorry attack live what on air. What's going on here? Sorry about that. Good. And sorry. you are the one yeah. with a, an actual degree <laughs> in broadcasting. <laughs> I know. Can you believe that? I know they've it. told you how to use the cough button. Turn, Don't right? let it happen again. Yes. Yeah, so. Just yeah. completely lost. This is remarkable. It's happened twice. It's happened twice in four years, and both times have been today. Stephen O'Dell says they are not Irish, although they can drink like the Irish. So if Respect. they're not Irish, they're probably related to, I guess, the computer brand. Probably very <laughs> rich. That's just Dell, not Odell. That's anyway, I said Ode yeah, Dell. Back to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Atlantic City after Cabo. Atlantic for City. The return at the Borgata to do a little commentary Atlantic for the BetMGM City. Poker Tour. How about that? How they must be paying you a fortune to go do that Well, show. you know I'd say yes to anything, right? Yeah. No matter what really right. the money is. So I'll probably play the main and then do commentary if I don't make the final table. Big if. I love the Borgata. Do you? Have you I been do. there? Oh, I, I used to play there Oh, that makes time. sense. That you I really do there. like the Borgata. It's a nice place, yeah? Great, Great room MGM service. Property. Never Ooh. played any poker there, but I spent a lot of time <laughs> in the hotel rooms. Just ordering room oh, service. Played online poker in my, my room. Tea. I don't leave the room when I go on a trip. That is what I've heard about you. Love that a you nice guys hotel. would like go to Turning Stone. You would just be cooped up in the room playing online. Uh, the tournaments online were way better than whatever yeah. those guys were doing, running around down in the casino. You're probably more efficient with your time by yeah. playing online in the room. What's your favorite meal to order from room service? Favorite meal to order from room service. I mean. It, I, I don't really think that you're going to get any. Oh, no, they keep them nice and warm. Uh, you know, a steak and lobster tail. <laughs> really? Yeah. You'll order that from room well, service. Well, like back in the day, you know. I, when you just had all the money. If I wanted to have a nice dinner, I'd get you the get surf and surf turf. and turf from room service. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm wow. certainly not going to go down to the restaurant. <laughs> I'd have them bring in a I little cheesecake for dessert. I'm not even a dessert guy, but went on a trip in a hotel room ordering room service. I'd always find a way. To have dessert. Steak, lobster, cheesecake, yeah. glass of wine? No, never really. Cold beer? Or no, no. You no. just want to. Yeah. Water. And would you be playing poker online while enjoying this wonderful oh, meal? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Breakfast was always the key. I'd wake up, Breakfast, roll out of bed. Room service is the best. Very foggy eyed. I would dabble in some other things that were non alcoholic. Okay. And so, you know, I'd be hungry at times in the morning. Yeah. A little hazy. And I'd order some some breakfast, a little pick-me-up. Like an omelet or some pancakes? Yeah, waffle, you know, maybe. whatever I thought was great. Love a nice omelet. Yeah, the om if it's a good omelet at a hotel, then a fan of room service. Evan says, dessert just hits better in a hotel room. I could kind of see that. He's not wrong. Oh, there's Jules in the chat. Jules fired off in the WPT World Championship. and her husband, big No Gamble, No Future fans, gave her a patch to rock That's, that I she love represented that. very well. Yeah. She's rooting for Dakota. Thanks for joining us, Jules. Go Dakota. Find good 
poker series with stops all across the country. I would probably do that when I travel when I do travel out for the run good. Events. Well, then you got to go to Thunder Valley because they've got great room service. Yeah, so you get an omelet every How's day. the hotel room itself? Because I won't attend the event, right. but no, I'll, it's, I'll it's enjoy very the nice. property. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. wonderful, lovely. in the mix is go Rob go to Denise oh he didn't say go he said ooh Rob and Denise <laughs> go Rob and Denise ooh. well it's the same thing it's the same thing lacking the G you've tuned in this is uh, non-stop action riveting 57 big blinds for Boston Rob Brad has 30 bigs at 1.9 million and Odell, 20 big blind stack. We get more out of Chidwick and Vogel saying than these guys. Meanwhile, the payouts. Oh, yeah. Third place, $4,225. Runner up will receive $6,500. Our champion will receive a trophy. That's accompanied by $8,775. Now, you mentioned in jest Chidwick and, and Vogel saying, I will say we had Chidwick on a feature table over at the World Poker Tour, and he was very chatty. Yeah, I mean, I'm serious about that. Came out of his shell. Chidwick. Now, Vogel saying, on the other hand, not chatty, yeah. but he lets his turtleneck do the talking. That's right, that's right. Now, there's something about him that it's acceptable. I might just rip it all in so I can go eat. <laughs> I'm starving. That would be oh, amazing, <laughs> Odell, if you could just rip it all in and Brutal. get this sucker moving. Yeah, we got a game yeah. in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I, missed, I know. Yeah, right. I missed out on the cream. The pressures are tight a little bit. It makes you feel you get your calories. <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't have enough, he didn't have enough to eat this yep. morning. I told him if he had breakfast with you, you'd make sure he got his calories in. <laughs> Send Tyson out there. <laughs> That was pretty ridiculous. For 250 was the offer? He offered 100 I told him 250 Ah. Uh. And then before he could take it back, it was gone. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they got no Tyson problem. going. I can hear him. Once he stops, yeah. starts, he never stops. Stephen Blair in the chat says, hate Boston sports teams. But ironically, I like Boston. Ah. Right. Survivor, GOAT. Who would go further in Survivor between commentators? Brent. Not close. Yeah, you don't like the outdoors. Not in Survivor-like conditions. Check. I like Come the outdoors, high. like being at a high. beach You're good. on the water, but not with no food and in a forest you or something. Good. See, I like the forest, yeah. the uh, yeah. out actual outdoorsy type. And I... And Ironically, I, I don't care for the beach. I, I'm not. Yeah. I don't, you know. But you might do well it's in It's fine. You know, beaches are fine. Nice you ever, sand. You ever thought about going on Survivor? <laughs> well. Okay. Can't do worse than the other poker players. Wait, didn't. But Rob, well, I guess they're not poker players by trade. Yeah, Those I don't are think winners. it counts, I think. The JRB, he was, the, was he the first one out? No, but didn't last long. Ronnie Bardo was the first one. Ronnie out. was out. How about Garrett? Garrett was out very early, I believe. Somebody in the chat, correct me if I'm wrong, please. One fifty. It was nice to have a little conversation there a moment ago. Yeah, they the were. Table. They really opened up. Really getting chatty. Have they considered maybe like? 20 to 30 rounds of shots to just loosen up <laughs> a little bit. No. Uh, our guy Tony thing. Burns is there. Well, Jeffrey coming down to Hollywood after Borgata. I'm going to try to work that in, Mr. Burns. I was just 
talking with somebody about that yesterday, trying to Sorry. go down to the Lucky Arts Poker Open right after oh, no, Poker Go Cup, no, which I believe, Tony, correct me if I'm wrong, if we wrap up Poker Go Cup coverage on the 20th, I could be in Florida and play the main on the 21st. How about that? A little red eye? Perhaps. Hopefully it doesn't go as poorly timing-wise as you today trying to get to the Bills game because that would be a disaster. I think the ship has sailed on me making kickoff. <laughs> 150. Swing. There's a better chance of me making it to Florida for that event <laughs> than seeing the Bills game. Odell, Rip City. Really good Ooh, spot impressive. to do it oh. for 16 bigs. Impressive indeed. You that hungry? <laughs> I'm pretty hungry, yeah. Chatterboxes now. Okay. Hear my stomach growling. I had pretty good carbs too, but I don't want to go eat just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Some good food around here, so yeah, I don't want to miss out. It's no. the last day I got here in Vegas. I think we'll see Dakota down in Vegas plenty in the future. I hope back, when I look back at the feed, I'm happy with my phone, right? <laughs> and you will be. Dakota won the gargantuan. You might be <laughs> upset with something. <laughs> it's some a great level. graphic. Just going to tell you ahead of time. <laughs> Very oh, hungry. Okay. Well done by the crew. <laughs> I don't get upset. Won the gargantuan oh, WSOP is. circuit ring joking. event in Choctaw. Yeah. $400 by an Won almost 85K. They actually cool. called the event the Gargantuan. And then he finished fifth in the main a week later. 65K, that's a heater. 10-10-10. Uh, We'd never see all the 10s. No. We hate 10s. No. We play video poker, we hate 10s. Never do it. Run oh. so bad. Stephen O'Dell, I'll buy first round of shots for the table. Well, send a couple to the booth, pal. Make it <laughs> ever clear. <laughs> if we're going to do it, we might as well do it right. Let's go down with the ship. y'all for sticking this one out with us. Happy to have you guys here. Sevens for Odell. Mines are at 30K, 60K, by the way. Have I mentioned that? How long have they been at this level for? Like 15 minutes? Doesn't matter. Uh, Boston Rob in trouble here. Bottom pair with that gut shot. Odell has him pipped with a couple sevens. And Rob again doing this unorthodox lead. Out of the big blind has not fared him well thus far and looks to be the case once more.
And Odell looks like he will again raise when facing this lead. Yeah, and a very and yeah, you said this earlier. hand to do it with yeah. it as well, right? That's two sevens, so he essentially has all the seven eights. He can eliminate that from potentially Boston Rob's range. Eight and like you said, the first time this happens, and then now you're just even in a trickier spot after leading. Yeah, it's not that you should check 100% of flops, and but just punishing the flops lead, like right. these will get in trouble a lot of the time with leads, or at the very least put yourself in very awkward situations. Considering Odell's stack size, considering how equities could change on a bunch of different turn cards. And all that being said, Rob also having a seven in his yeah. hand with six, seven, he is thinking, wait a minute, what, what does this guy have? Yeah. Is there any way I could just move it in and get a fold? And he's going to fold it himself. Pretty good. Steven says Dakota goes by D1. D1. Why is that, Steven? So good you Fill us in it. on Dakota. Maybe. I don't know where you were at. <laughs> Did I give you? Oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. The golden This is jets. the one I gave you? Or are you just sitting there? Yeah, She threw it out there to gotcha. get my attention. Oh, gotcha. Evan says our video director is visiting every conceivable angle, and I love it. Uh, yeah, best crew in the business right here at the Poker Go Studio. Nine. George Maxwell, that director. Pat McMath producing for us today. Poor Tom has to be the one to talk to us. Check. Chris and Christina are dealers. Paul and Candace running the tournament. Price just right, it seems. Okay. Yeah. Chop it up. What do they say about chop pots, Brent? Uh, they should never be recorded for television, Jim. Oh. Thought Nobody loves them. Oh. Thought everybody, no? No. I'm afraid that was bad information circulated all those years. Destiny, does Denise have a ton of poker experience? Well, I mean, she has caches dating back to 2016. Yeah, quite a bit. Loves the game, plays a lot in Mississippi. A lot of action in Tunica. Played on Poker After Dark a couple seasons ago. Did Denise Pratt as well. And I do know she studies and works on her game with Soul for Why. Matt Berkey group. I feel like everybody oh. but Berkey at Solve for Why is good. Corey and Conrad running deep in the WPT World Championship. Right. Yeah, 
Berkey's just a content creator now. Yeah, is that Berkey right? just shows up on occasion, yeah. lights some money on fire, uh -huh. goes back to work, get the podcast. Great podcast, by the way, the Only Friends podcast. We had the tortoise here in the building for this pro am, Brian LaManna. Doing tortoise like things. Yeah. Bubbling. And bubbling. Mm. It always ends in heartbreak. Mm. Well, when you only play four hands, you're going to sit there for a while and then get it in and sometimes lose and good night. Right. Obviously, Odell with a very easy bet. Ace of clubs in his hand. Winner. You guys in the chat have any questions for us? Floor is open. I hope not. I we'll answer them though, right, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Odell looks like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Member of the Sacramento Kings, who we did see on the last run. Good stop at Thunder Valley. They took us to a Kings game. Can you believe that? Gave us the sweet treat. Is that right? What do you guys eat for breakfast? Trent, good question. Brent, you start. Not really a breakfast guy, but oh, yeah. when I do, it's going to be bacon and eggs. My kids love them. Some eggs and then a bowl of Catalina Crunch cereal. Catalina wine mixer? No, Catalina Crunch. What is that? Cereal. What is Catalina Crunch? Is that it's a just a cereal? It's they, they call it keto-ish. Oh, you're a keto guy. No. You just like it? Yeah, I just like you the like taste. It's relatively like keto good for cereal? you, a lot of protein. Yeah. Dana, how do folks find backers or audition for backers? What? That's a good question. I don't know about if there's much of an like an audition process. I guess some backers want to look at your hand history and see how oh, you play gotcha, huh? along with your results play on the run good to and or others. I'm just wondering how that works. Catherine Schmidt, I need professional advice. Yeah. When I play tournaments and get to the final table, mm -hmm. I always get very nervous and end up getting knocked out right away. Any advice to help me not be so nervous? Oh. Uh, there's really no, I don't think there's a huge problem with being nervous. I mean, you're at, you made the final table of poker tournament. It means something to you. You're queen nervous. High. It shows that you care. I'm sure it does not correlate with your early eliminations. Yeah, I, as long as the nerves are not resulting in kind of poor decision, board, right? Yeah. Then you're okay. You should you should feel nerves. Anything you do that's a big moment in your life, yeah. you should be nervous. If you're not, then you probably don't care enough. Nerves are a good thing. Evan, please tell us about the best non-expletive four-letter word to say I'm out loud and your reason to why. Dude, we got to wrap this thing up. Uh, the best non-expletive four-letter word to Mine say. Mine is work. Got to go to work. Loud. Work, uh, work, work. Chug. Oh, chug's good for you. My reason why? Self-explanatory. Yeah. Raise one fifty. Raise one hundred fifty thousand. Who just said we got to wrap this thing up? I believe that was Dakota. Not a boy, Dakota. Maybe he wants to watch the ball game. Maybe. He's hungry and wants to watch football, just like the man to my right, your left. I know this is all on purpose, though, by the way, Rob. He's a diehard Patriot. Yeah, player. he's just stalling you out. Out of spite, he does not want me to see the Buffalo Bills destroy the Miami Dolphins. 
I'll get him back. way in the second place. Wisco Hank's about to go down to the table and cover a three-way deal. <laughs> I'm about to go pull all the the power supply out of the <laughs> entire studio. Mayor Pete, can you get Tana in the booth to discuss Buffalo Link strategies? We probably should do that. He just crushes that game, huh? Has he played here, do you yeah. know? I, th I, th I think they're pretty limited on machine selection here at Aria. Right. But they've, of course, played a little bit. For the boys in Pensacola. That might be my first walk. Well, hard for us to handle all the excitement, so Brett, I think we're going to need a break. Just a quick one, Jeff. Ten minutes, maybe? Okay. Yeah, that all sounds right. good to me. Before we do that, quick look at the leaderboard, and it shows Boston Rob still on at top, almost 2.9 million in chips. Dakota O'Dell in second, Denise Pratt back in third. We are back with more three-handed action from the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. After this break, we'll send you off to some highlights. Enjoy. I think this is Shout out to Hair Club, a, a long part time, of the like Ogre Go studio. Like we're skipping the, I think we're Run good all stars pro. Yeah. Can we get right now for a break request? <laughs> Average stack here, 50 yeah, big blinds. We are back. very deep. Jenkins is our short stack. She has a, a little under 20 bigs. Singh, our second shortest Price. stack, has 40. Just extremely deep. We could be here for 70, 70, hours. Do you have any plans later today? I'll tell you what, if this is not over <laughs> before the Bills game, you're going to be finishing this coverage on your well, own. I figured. I have got a front row seat on my couch with some very healthy food and beverages. You going to drink while watching? Me? Yeah. Do you have any plans? Yeah. I got to do the end of this broadcast. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to come join Thank the uh, you. the Hanks household for the invite. We've got fresh mahi on the smoker. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Squish the fish. I smoke the fish, Jeff. Sweet. I made that up. I think we're going to order That's Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. I think everybody likes it. You're here trying to get it. I was like, he's real quiet, but his tips speak for him. So there you go, right? 
to that, 15.30. We're trying Y'all to get here to mess with you, uh, Boston Rob, right? He's Lines definitely 15, wearing his, da- his uh, patch yeah. proud. Yeah. Chip leader. Yes. Yeah. You are a chip leading. Do you like their website? They're great guys. Yeah. Yep. And they know what they're doing. And we hear from Boston Rob for the first time today. Hasn't had a lot to say at the final table. He's too busy collecting chips. Very <laughs> focused, yeah, isn't he? Very in. intense. He needs a little wine. Loosen up a little bit, you know? No interest. You're a TV Y'all star. Movie notes? Gotta have him out <laughs> here. Yeah, maybe camera it. shot. Running the oh, yap. Great. It is. Mm-hmm. It's funny. It's scary, too. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No. Nope. 75? Raise 75,000. Forest, or Dakota, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forest left. My horse is gone. From day one. <laughs> oh. <Dakota's> still here. <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, we just got caught up in a couple of interesting okay. hands. Dakota, given that look, and I know you don't have any of that. Uh, no chance. The question is, can you pull the trigger and put Jenkins to the test? It's just King Deuce, no spade as well. Not much left behind for Jenkins. Okay. Thanks. I finally get to take one down. It's been a very slow day for me. That's a nice pickup. For Miss Jenkins, now up to 560,000. <coughs> Winning the seat via giveaway. That is still in the mix with five players left. They're playing for the trophy and for this. Now at least $2,600 in cash, about a $600 pay jump, fifth to fourth, and up top, $8,775. Cook says LFG giveaway winner converting to money. Indeed, that's what it's all about. Let us know in the chat who you are rooting for with five players left. Is it Boston Rob? Is it Denise Pratt? Is it Cool Want Singh? Is it our giveaway winner, Ashley Jenkins? Or is it Dakota Odell? Who we have nicknamed Southwest Mo. Please do. And I'll tell you what, for those wondering, how the heck can I play in this event? Well, one. Make cool. sure you attend a Runga Tour Stop yeah. in 2023 as we'll have qualifiers here. once more trying to earn their seats. And I'll be working with Runga to come up with more giveaway opportunities. You said you want to see Fox. It'll I be some sort of Fox. two-step process They're where you great. subscribe to Poker Go, annual subscription, and then you'll be allotted the opportunity to qualify for this okay. event. Meanwhile, a little bit of trouble brewing for Ashley Jenkins. Yikes. She does flop a queen, but it's trip fives for Odell. 75,000. Yeah, a little. Let me look again, make sure I've got what I think I have. Yeah, confirmed. Trips. Sets the trap. Oh, boy. Nine on the turn. Queens and nines for Ashley. 410K behind. 360K in the pot. For Ashley, it is hard to blame her if she goes for all of it. Thinking maybe she just got very fortunate with queens and nines. Could she be up against another sort of queen? Queen Jack, King Queen. 
Bad news on the horizon. 175. 135,000. All in? All of it. And the call. Oh and here gross. we go. Dakota. Oh, rough. Is it 5 9? 5 7? No. Up. Four outs Ooh. for Ashley Jenkins, our giveaway Not winner. I did that for the stream. About 1.2 million in this pot. Jenkins get lucky here. Not. She All cannot. Right, we will Ashley. say good game good to game. Ashley. A blast having her in our Ashley. studio for this event. She is out in fifth place. Uh, deck what? Wonderful deck? score okay. for Ashley Jenkins. Oh. <laughs> our giveaway winner. Oh, yeah, yeah. She turned that Go get him, Denise. into $2,600. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I know how that feels. I did that. It's not really thinking. From zero to $2,600 for Dakota Odell. He moves up to 1.8 million in chips. Boston Rob still the chip leader. Denise Pratt and Kulant Singh also in the mix. Final four at the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am second edition of this tournament. Robbie Singh won the first one last year, beating Danielle Anderson heads up for the win. Those logos. Yeah, so many stops across the country. Yeah. Went to a decent amount over the last year with those rings awarded and every stop. We're like, oh, is Hanks here? He really doesn't leave the state of Nevada. Not really. Not sure yeah. if it's a legal it's thing. It's been a while. Or... Every state has a restraining order <laughs> right, against right. me. I have to stay. Right here in Nevada. But if you do travel, it will be to a run good stop. It will. And I I know I said it last year. I, never, I just couldn't make it happen. Yeah. But I, I really want to go this year to a stop somewhat nearby. Stop in Irwin. Thunder Valley. Earlier, yeah. That's the one Director maybe for me. Director Operations there. It's close by. It's a beautiful spot. Great setup. Be nice if they could get a, an official stop right here in Las Vegas. Oh, that's true. I know we did have one final qualifier for a right. seat at the Aria right Eight before this out. event took place. Did we both play this event last year? Did I, did just I play it? I, didn't play I it believe long. just you played okay, it. You did commentary. And both I did day. commentary with Jim. Tuck, Tuck, that's I what it was. Say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I did sidelines. Odell going to keep firing here. Y you remember me playing pretty well, of course, last time? I, I don't really remember that part, okay. Jeff. But I, I mean, Were I'm you sure dialed in? Yeah, it, pretty pretty locked in. I yeah. remember everyone being blacked out. It was yeah. a, uh, a full-on drinking event <laughs> yes, last Yes, it year. was. Jen. Well, when D-Moon is in the mix. Uh, D Moon, Shenanigans Joe Kinnaker. Stapleton, yeah. Veronica Brill. I mean, there was just uh, Jamie Kerstetter. The the booze was just flowing. It's a good day for our bartenders here at the poker. Two fifty five. Two hundred fifty five thousand. Odell. Go fire, fire, fire. Well, we know Singh does not like to fold. Let's True. see if he gets off top here. Beautiful evening in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here at the Poker Go Studio at Aria Resort and Casino for the final table of the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. 
I'm Jeff Platt. He's Brent Hanks. Thank you so much for being with us. Our final three, we have Boston Rob. We have Dakota O'Dell. And we have Denise Pratt. And now, Brent, less than 100 bigs on the table. Expecting to see some major action in this level. Seems inevitable. Fireworks will be on display. Boston Rob trying to win this title, trying to take home that trophy and collect his second ring. Adele could be a thorn in his side. And of course, the queen of Mississippi, Denise yeah. Pratt, always here to fight. Boston Rob starting Wait. things off after break with Jax. in there with the king seven suited. Heads up. About 9K up top, but Boston Rob would win a little more if he won this thing. So he had a side bet with Josh Ra, receiving 20 to one odds at the beginning of the tournament to win this tournament. Here he is with the chip lead with three left. And here Denise is leading on the queen seven three. Maybe she liked it when she saw Boston Rob do it. Sort of interesting the types of hands that we've seen these leads from. They're always middling. Yeah. Here it's with a seven. Ro Rob did it with bottom pair, middle pair. Is it ever a good hand? Doesn't look to be the case from our sample size, but what a turn. Hey, but kings and sevens are pretty good. And Denise just jams on the turn. for Denise. Made it here by winning the studio ticket ring event at the Tunica stop on the Run Good Poker Series. loves those button spots as you've mentioned. Bumps it up with the 9-6 off. Boston Rob defends and does flop a king. Okay. Air nines for Dakota. Calls. Lisa clubs on the turn. And Rob leads this turn for two hundred ten thousand.
Okay. Yeah, lays it down. Rob takes down the pot. Moblins in here at the 10 8 suit at 7 deuce for Odell. Throughout all of the Run Good Poker series stops, they've been airing the All Stars Pro Am from last year. And I kind of think they should just keep airing that one. <laughs> Why is that, Jeff? <laughs> We had some pizza here in the studio. I just had two slices. slices. Yeah, How I'm you not feeling? gonna lie. Uh, much better. Nice. I really needed it. Fire here with just 10 high. Can Odell find the call with the deuces? Tricky spot, right? The seven of diamonds, not the best card to have in your hand. Always difficult with bottom pair, regardless when you're. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're sort of unblocking. Does lay it down. Stuff you think he could be bluffing with. Yeah. with three million in chips about half the chips in play safe to say i won't make it in time for the bills game yeah. jeff well considering it's starting what any minute now i'm gonna say that is correct cool it's quiet in here you still hungry down there i'm still hungry yeah how about you mr rob that creamer gone so full so full so full <laughs> going strong thank you for that by the way tyson <laughs> i would have never been able to sustain the creamer's still there it hangs on it's heavy man you gotta get a new jersey now to be yeah You should have got him some peaches with that creamer. No, he was drained the calories. You get the calories. There we go. There's Tyson, our sideline reporter for the day. We should have just covered Tyson for a little while, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, and then came back for the big hands. <laughs> I'm in. Just follow Tyson around with right. the camera. Let's get the Tyson cam. Speaking of big hands. Dakota with less than 20 bigs in the small blind, facing a button open. He's already shoved one time on Boston Rob. Going to non all in three bet here. Let's see if this induces yeah. Rob to move it all in with ace four suited. Come on. There it is, the all-in and the call. Rob didn't want to hear that. Ace-king for Dakota, the ace-four suited for Boston Rob. Odell the one all-in and at risk. Still nearly 30% equity with ace-four suited. It's a tricky hand. I guess I'm at risk, so I'm Odell at knows up. it. Yeah. Sorry. Hopefully it works. Stand-up trick, went all-in and at risk, but he is ahead. That alters the stand-up shenanigans. Denise on her feet as well. Now she knows that she has a chance to get heads up for the title. If Boston Rob can win this pot. 
four on the flop. And now it is Odell in some trouble. Couple backdoor straight draws are available, but for now, needing a king, not finding it on the turn. He'll need it on the river to stay alive. River card. It's a six. Good game, guys. And that does Don't it worries. for Dakota Good Odell. Game. A brutal ending for the man who entered our day as the chip leader. He's out in third for about $4,200. Yeah, top three finish. Probably not what he drew up this morning, but played Good great. Luck. Got Good his luck. money in good. It's, it's all you can ask for. And we will set the stage for heads up first by taking a look at this leaderboard. And it is Boston Rob about a three to one advantage over Denise Pratt. Almost $9,000 up top. Boston Rob entering heads up play with about 4.7 million in chips. Denise with 1.8 million. So Dakota Odell, call him D1. He's our third place finisher. He wins not only $4,225, but he also wins an interview with our newest sideline reporter, Tyson Apostle. All right, I'm here with Dakota Odell, the third place finisher here at the Run Good Pro-Am at Poker Go Studios. Dakota, brutal ending there, but you had a great run. And how was your experience in general at this event? Oh, my experience was great. You know, like I said earlier, this is a much different final table than any other one I've been a part of. You know, it felt, it felt, it felt pretty fun. But uh, yeah, it's a bummer to go out that way. It's a high equity spot, so it is what it is. Yeah, where's dinner gonna be? I know you've made a few thousand dollars here and that's probably good enough for dinner for two based yeah. on my appetites. <laughs> Well, I'll probably just go to Sabaro's Pizza, get two two slices of cheese, I think. You know, that's my go-to when I'm in Vegas. Uh -huh. I'm not very extravagant, but uh, yeah, probably just some pizza, man. It's always good. So let me get this straight. <laughs> you travel to Vegas to get Sabaro's. Uh, yes, I guess so. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, I mean, that might be the most shocking revelation that we've had all day today yeah. here in the studio. Incredible. Well, Dakota, enjoy Sabaro's. I think okay. you get a whole pie. Okay. I know that's I usually a buy the slice type okay. of thing, but get a pie. All right, maybe some ice cream. Some ice cream, the cry, <laughs> yeah. cry in yeah. the hotel room. Yep. And then rinse it all off and you're okay. good to go tomorrow. All right. all right, sounds good, man. Thanks, Dakota. All right, thanks, buddy. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Back to you, Jeff and Brent. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Tyson. I love that. Let's spend your winnings on. Couple of slices. That's my Sabaro. kind of guy right there, yeah, Dakota. You, you know, you nothing flashy, just kind of a, a man of the people. You respect the pizza game. All right, I caught up with Tana Karn earlier on day one. All right, here with the man who runs the show, Tana Karn, the boss man, the president of the Run Good Poker Series. Tana, what is it like for you to be back for another Run Good All Stars Pro Am? I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, this facility is top notch. The best players in the world play here, and now we get to share that with. Players who are playing $200 events, $600 events, $300 events, it is a magical moment to see everyone from across the country come in and sit down at a table where basically nothing matters, backgrounds don't matter. If you play D1 sports, if you're a grandmaster of chess, you're at a table, your brains, your cards, a little bit of luck, and this is what we, we all fell in love with, this game. Take us back 10 years to the very start, the foundation of Run Good. What was, what was that like? 10 years, ah, oh, man, I was, I had a lot less gray hair. <laughs> um, I had a backpack and a couple of shirts printed off. And I'm talking like stencil, Walmart, you know, you're just, you're just basically doing a little kid's craft. And I came out to the World Series of Poker, bright eyed, doughy eyed, whatever you call it. Um, and that's how Run Good started. I went around, played some events, handed out some t-shirts, uh, picked up a little bit of traction and fast forward, what, eight years, nine years, 10 years? Uh, time flies, and we're here in the studio uh, playing where the best play in the world. The gray hair is from the slots, by the oh, way, obviously. obviously. 100%. Let's, go, let's go through this last year, and it's a year that for you culminated in, in a really big tournament and a $1 million 
guarantee at Thunder Valley? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's pretty incredible, actually. So you know, for the past um, 10 years, you know, we've had guarantees from 100k, 50k, 200k, um, and I get a call up from Mr. Ben Owen down at Thunder Valley, and he's like, Tana, I want to do a million dollar guarantee event, and I'm like, Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Ben Owen. I'm like, I'm in. So it was, it, was a great, it was a great phone call and it was actually a really awesome opportunity. I mean, just everything we built over the years and just be able to get that call, just kind of like getting that call when you're getting drafted, yeah. going up to the big leagues. Um, I know, you know this tour loves to stay humble and we love just making magical moments on a, you know, a small buy-in on a big stage. Um, but to do that million dollar guarantee was truly something of a landmark and a milestone for the company. You mentioned small buy-in on a big stage, and I think that's what makes Run Good what it is, is that the players are, are treated so well and they, they, they all feel like they're so important. What would you say the, the atmosphere is like at a typical Run Good stop? Sure, no, a uh, great question. And you know, it's all the way from all the, the details, right? So when they come in, there's giveaway items, there's you know professional poker players, there's celebrities, ambassadors coming in to greet everyone. There's drinks are flowing, but more importantly, there's you know live reporting. There's uh, photography. You know when you're playing a $200 event at you know one of the local casinos here. You know you're not really going to get a professional photographer to come take your photo, and it's just that small moment where you really feel like, oh yeah, this is why I do it because that that love and that thrill of that big stage, uh, even if it's a $200 event for some people, that's a big man event, and I get that, and that was. For me, that was it too. You know, I uh, I understand kind of how you save up to play these big events, especially when I was growing up playing poker. Like I go to the the monthly Sunday big $200 buy-in. Uh, you know, I was like, you know, uh, putting on switch foot on full blast in the car on the drive there, um, and then you know you buy in, and then that's your dream. You know, that's your moment. And I wanted to capture that energy for everyone who plays the Run Good Poker Series Tour, and I think we've accomplished that across the years. And finally, Tana, what do you think 2023 looks like for the Run Good Poker Series? Uh, it's actually really special. So we're going back to a, a very special campaign that we did back in 2018 when we won our first GPI uh, Best Men Major Award. Um, it's going to be called Run Good Poker Series Checkpoint. Um, and we are going to be raising funds for care kits for our soldiers overseas. So basically every main event will send out 10 care kits to soldiers. So we'll have everyone basically pack and write a little note to somebody over there who's serving our country and along with the side events as well. So it should be a really special one that brings home uh, a lot of good memories uh, for a lot of people just understanding that you know somebody at home cares. We appreciate the time. We're happy you're here and congratulations on everything, all right? Thank you, Jeff. You got it. And stay out of the casino. <laughs> I love that last note for me. Do you think Tana abided by that? Stay I don't out think of the so, Jeff. No, you're uh, going to have a hard time keeping him out of there. Not a chance. Yeah, we are heads up for the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am Trophy and for almost $9,000. Our final two, recognizable final two. There's Boston Rob, Survivor Superstar. You've seen him on Secret Celebrity Renovation on CBS. The newest Poker Go ambassador. He goes up against just a great ambassador for the game overall. Denise Pratt made it here by winning a studio ring event in Tunica, Mississippi. And she finds herself heads up for the title and that beautiful trophy. $8,775 up top. Our runner up will receive $6,500. And here we go. Blue chips worth 5K, purple chips 25K apiece. Yellow bumblebees worth 100k, 200? 40k, 80k blinds, yeah. and 80k big blind ante. You push those yeah. back. Uh, Boston Rob has got a little more on the line than just. A call. Oh my! All in and a call just right like away. that. Here we go. Yeah. Rob with the ace three, which is actually ahead at the moment. More than 3.6 million in this pot. Denise can find a way. She becomes the chip leader for the first time today. If Rob's ace high holds, this tournament is over. Queen 10-3, a good looking flop for Denise. 
looking to dodge an ace or a three. Turn is the seven of spades, and she has the king of spades. So just four outs for Rob. You see him on top of your screen. Needing a three or an ace that is not a spade. Oh, it is an ace oh, well. of spades. They don't notice. She, oh, my goodness. Do what now? Oh, you made a flush. Oh, flush. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't wow. even see it. Oh, wow. I'm okay. so sorry, man. Let me give you a good? hug. I'm so sorry. You good? You good? I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that. I just saw the ace, and I'm like, well, yeah. okay, he won. Yay for him. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Nice I'm sorry. Nice hand. Wow. I didn't even see it. I was like, I just saw the ace. I'm sorry, dude. Oh. Don't see that every day. They both thought it was over. Instead, it is My Denise Pratt. I saw the ace. I was like, it's over. With the chip lead. Just before that was a, I didn't slow. I all didn't in do the that. chaos. I slow row, yeah, I promise. Austin okay. Robb's got <laughs> what we think is a very substantial side yeah. bet on the line you against Josh Arie. So Maybe it's to the tune of twenty thousand dollars by what we seven. suspect. He's got twenty to one odds to win 90. this tournament before it started. Seventy-five, ninety. You think Josh noticed the flush? Oh probably boy. not. He's probably out of it. Nice hand. First time today, Denise Pratt takes the chip lead. These players are deep, Jeff. So now let's reset with a look at the leaderboard that does find Denise Pratt's name on top, more than 3.6 million in chips. Boston Rob right there though, so a slight edge for Pratt. Denise's last cash was a win at the Run Good Series. Boston Rob's last cash was a win at the Run Good Series. His in Cleveland, hers in Tunica, Mississippi. Both, I, I, I guess you could say they're, they're both on a hater coming into yeah. this thing. All they do is win. Rob is 4-0 lifetime heads up. And Denise is three and one. Good thing I didn't start crying. Yeah. Mm. Rob is all business. Denise came here to party. Raise 200. There she comes. Heads up, king deuce off on the button. I like the sizing. Go to two. Things change now for Rob. We saw a moment ago he just gripped and ripped all in. Now the stacks are deeper. Just a call. It's an interesting one. 200. Double gutted straight draw for Rob. Any deuce, any six. And Denise is open ended, but gets out of the way with King High. I think maybe we can call there with that equity, especially with a king in our hand. Live to see another day. This brings us about dead even. Sort of get the feeling with these two, especially with Denise's playing style, I, the money is probably going to go in sooner than we suspect, Jeff. Nice. There's no let's grind it out. 225. Yeah, they're playing long ball right now. Call. Denise calls with the queen three suited. Check. 
Team Jack 5, a Rainbow 1 Club. A couple backdoor draws one for Denise. Five. Queen High best at the moment. Just lets it go. Rob regains the chip lead. That didn't take long, yeah. did it? Boston Rob jumps right back in front. A lot like those pesky Buffalo Bills. I don't think it's going to take long for them to score a touchdown, Jeff. Okay. Game just started. Like uh, they just Looks got cold. the ball. It's very cold in Buffalo, just the way we like it. Huh. It's cold in Vegas, too. It's no, brutal. Stop it. Denise just folds the 7-8 on the button. Probably can limp in there, given the big blind ante. You yeah. just get a great price to flick in that extra 40K with all that money out in the middle. Hand plays just fine post-flop. That's not Denise's strategy. Cracks with Denise just more getting a good one and just trying to get all the chips in free. Yeah, fast, furious sort of action. Like Rob rocking that no gamble, no future patch. Love to see that. It was on a sit and go in season one. You can catch those episodes on Poker Go. Maria Ho, oh, Jeremy Osmus, Basil Koja, Christina Gollins, Ellie Lezer on that sit and go as well. Two hundred and twenty five. Raise two hundred twenty five thousand. Raise and take it for Denise. Raise two hundred fifty thousand. Denise folds the Two fifty. Raise two hundred fifty thousand. Seven fifty. The three bet. Seven fifty. Sizable at that.
Jones lets it go. And Rob is continuing to. No, I'm gonna look that hand up when this pull is away. <laughs> Four million now. Denise knocked down to 2.5. Still more than 30 bigs for Denise Pratt. Tons of playability. Four hundred thousand. Denise with the queen jack suited. Three bets. Four hundred K. Six offsuit. Is he considering now riding the muck? ourselves a battle here, Jeff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rob with about a 60-40 edge. Awesome Rob's held the chip lead for most of this final table. It's all said and done. Tyson Apostle will present the trophy Wonder. to our champion. That should be a treat. Oh, I can't wait for that. Talks with Tyson. <laughs> it kind of be a nice sidebar to our main event coverage. Just saying. I mean, it's on CBS Sports. Uh, he's great. I'd go for that. Yeah. Got two sideline reporters. Let's make it three, right? Or does somebody get bumped out, which would not be good for. Where the does game. it end? Might as well bring yeah. in five or six. <laughs> Just have all the areas of the room covered. Pretty sick. Two hundred. Yes, two hundred thousand. That looks sizable. Oh. Good thing oh, she announced good. Yeah. Yeah. the number. Glad I announced it, right? A little bit more. Okay. Check. King 10 deuce. I think Denise checked out a turn, maybe? Let's move on to the next Yeah, yeah. let's just get to the Scratch next one. Scratch that yeah. one. Poker Go patch on better. It's starting to fall off. Is it? 
Yeah. I see the other patch hanging out. Yeah, Quite no, nice the other the patches are doing no well. No gamble, no future looks nice. Well, that's the most important. Yeah. Seven in the window. Oh, let's hop a pair of deuces and a backdoor flush draw. Check. Check. Three hundred. Oh, nine Three of hearts thousand. would be a fun card, wouldn't it? Denise, check calls the 300k bet. Five of spades on the turn. Check. Six hundred. Six hundred thousand. Wow, Rob oh, seemingly firing. targeting what he's yeah, hoping is a seven. He gets it through. Perhaps some better hands do fold, including the sevens from Denise. And that was a critical pot. Denise down to twenty big blinds. We're about where we started. Right. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Sizable. Austin Rob with the Rob E. Snowfall there. Yeah, you that's see that? a beautiful yeah. set up the snowfall into the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Denise Pratt versus Boston Rob. They thought it was over about ten minutes ago. Denise beat Boston Rob. No, nobody realized that. They did the full handshake yeah. and everything. She made a flush. Hugged it out, thought it was over. Christina, our dealer, Paul, tournament director, was like, um, that's a flush. Oh, the snap. Three bet to 750K. Raise the blinds to 50k, 100k with a 100k big blind ante. But first, let's tell you about what is on the horizon. Talk to me, Jeff. What's yeah, on the you horizon? Got it. Well, music, please. Yeah. Coming up in less than a week, it's the season ending PGT Championship. You are not going to want to miss it. You're taking a look at your top three on the PGT leaderboard. It's December 21st to 22nd. You can watch the year's 21 best high rollers compete for a $500,000 winner take all prize. Save $20 off the annual subscription price with promo code RUNGOOD23, that is RUNGOOD23. Join or upgrade now. 
That's that right. Is Phil Ivey will be in attendance. Jason Kuhn, Stephen Chidwick, among 18 others for that top 21. Daniel Negreanu making a run right now in the WPT main event, expected to also clinch his seat. It's going to be star-studded. To finish top 21, I, I mean, you're, you're talking yeah. about the cream of the crop. Seth Davies, Nick the Petrangelo, and Espen Jorstad, the main event winner. Jeremy Osmus. Kerry Katz, El Jefe. Kerry Katz might, might be rocking a new look at the PGT Championship. If a you guys have look? seen him at the WPT I World Championship, it's it. not just black jacket and poker go hat. Oh, you're seeing uh, new outfits yeah. entirely. Huh? Yeah. Decked out in a little red. Perhaps in a little red USC Trojan gear. Could possibly be his Georgia Bulldogs as well. It was Jeff. SC red. Well, that would make sense. His wife, USC alum, of course, Gary, Georgia. Fifty K, one hundred K blinds. He say Ooh. deuce, all spades. Oh Top two for Boston Rob. Denise with the king of spades. How many? 400? 400,000. And leads right out with that flush draw. This money yeah. seems inevitable oh. that it's about to go All in. All of it. Oh. All in and a call, and here we go. It's Denise who's all in and at risk with that flush draw. Got a two-to-one underdog here. Boston Rob's two pair holds up. He is our champion. Four point five million goes to Denise if she can find a way. Turn card is a nine. Opens up an additional out in the form of the nine of hearts. But so far, so good for Boston Rob. Looking to dodge a spade or that nine of hearts. Boston oh, nice. Rob. Good this time. Yeah. Wins the nice Run time. Good All Stars Pro Am. He called his shot from the get go. Jeff takes home the title, the trophy, the cash, and of what course I tell the you? bonus bucks from <laughs> oh. Josh Arie. I didn't use any time extensions. <laughs> what a run by Denise Pratt! Just it so really great was. for the game. Tremendous, tremendous showing. Absolutely love right. Denise yeah, Pratt. Yeah. Representing Mississippi proud, those grandkids at oh home will man. be celebrating, getting great gifts with that <laughs> prize money, Jeff. That much is true. So Boston Rob, when announcing shuffle up and deal, told the rest of the field, y'all are playing for second. And he was right, because his name is on top of this leaderboard. He wins almost $9,000. Brent said it, a side bet with Josh Aria comes home. Boston Rob, 20 to 1 odds at the beginning of the tournament to win the whole thing. And he wins the whole thing. A little bit of pain, perhaps, felt by one Josh Aria. Terrific runs by Denise Pratt, Dakota Odell, Kuwant Singh, Ashley Jenkins, Tim Callejo, Forrest Kohler, John Ortega, and Vladimir Greshnikov. So you know what's next, Brent, don't you? Talks with Tyson, yes, shall we? Yes, the trophy presentation featuring a couple of podcast co-hosts, a couple of reality television superstars, and one Tyson Apostle, and one Poker Go ambassador, and our Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am champion, Boston Rob. All right, we are here with the winner, 
Boston Rob Mariano, he called his shot. He has won two rings. Rob, mm. how hard is it to win one ring? It's not that hard to win one. And but then two. two. It's a little bit harder. I'd really like to congratulate you. My man, look at all them <laughs> rings. <laughs> I, I do have to thank a few people. Uh, Tana Karn, uh -huh. the president and CEO of Run Good, welcoming me into the family. This is beyond the players championship. And uh, I don't know, I just, I love this tournament. I love the Run Good family. And I'm so happy to, uh, to have been a part. And to my buddy, Josh Aria, you owe me, bro. Let's, let's bring on the president uh, and founder of Run Good, Tana Karn, bringing out the trophy. Ah, my man, I'm gonna need an extra seat on the plane for this thing. You are, you are. Well, on behalf of the Run Good Poker Series, Poker Go, congratulations, Boston Rob. Thank you, thank you. Girls, this is for you, for my kids and my wife at home. This is for you guys, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Back to you, Jeff and Brent. <laughs> One final toss from Tyson to seal the deal. Congratulations to Boston Rob. Did it for Amber and the girls at home. What a final table it was at the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am. Thanks to our uh, sideline reporter, Tyson Apostle. My job could be in jeopardy. Thanks so much to all the qualifiers, the invitees, to Tana, to the Run Good crew, to our production crew, which has been exceptional throughout the course of the day. Congratulations to Boston Rob. He is our champion. We save our most important thanks for you, the viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.